you have to be aware of the work environment. Play all the environment and the base of the operation and the location of the workouts. They are the work size uh, environment. Who can hold this uh, doing HSR entry permit? This means that at least uh, you, are, you want to work in the industry, you cannot do the job. You have to have the OHSR card, induction card. This is the white card. You have to get a complete training and then, then you can go do this as this card. So the best division entry department is uh, you have to uh, appropriately train these uh, trainers of people or the elected officer union or employee union, otherwise person, including their workers. They must have a certificate completed, uh, prescribed training. So this is for the important aspect of the OHS card. Free and proper person are the uh, designation of the commission, they are, if the uh, commissions are certified with, the PIP holder can hold the permit and then they can enter the workplace. So the negligible are incident. Notice given are incident mean, when the incident happened, the death of the person, or serious injuries or illness and dangerous incidents are arising and also the outwork period by the business or the workplace. You know, this is the notice notification are incident. Those notification incident related to the employee, contractor and a member of the public. So we have to that control. So the way to stop the what is a causing the hazard, we have to use a lower hazard or alternative, separate use from, from the rest of the workplace. So because of the, the hazard of play must be the uh, separated from the other workplace and then we have to utilize the appropriate uh, installments or uh, equipment. Appropriate equipment need to be installed and then we have to change the PPS uh, on the working style and also personal protective equipment, PPE, must be utilized. So this is where the appropriate workplace are procedure. So the, when you are using the hazard, so we have to work procedure. Firstly, what requires a standard work procedure. So the, we have to focus on the standard work procedure, what to have to done. And then we have to break the task into the various steps. The whole work process needs to be divided into the pieces. And then every piece you have to identify the hazard. And then we have to modify. Modify whether every step needs to be modified for safer or not. It's safer. And then we have to follow the standard work procedure. You have to break the task and then identify hazard. And also the uh, save our edge in no, uh, we have to, we have to uh, change the work like this. So that in this case, uh, so that in this case, that task need to be cannot be modified for the safer or easier. You have to develop the control. Control measure and saving precaution. And you have to write down the standard procedure to control the measure, the safety and precaution. And then those procedures need to be audited regularly. So this is the important aspect of this uh, occupation of health safety. So this overview plans are shown but that the how to uh, produce the occupation of health safety are then. So that any workplace they are the hazards. The hazards are the noise, all the equipment are running with the heavy noise, or radiation, light, vibration, temperature, humidity, ergonomics, and moisture, dust, solvent, glue, flux. Also the viral plants, parasite, vomit, insect, street trip, and fall, two of the electric equipment. Those are the hazards in the workplace. Who has that need to be aware of? Okay, you have to, you are the electric uh, apprentice, you need to uh, connect the electric motor to power supply. So you have to do the safety. Write down the procedure to connect the electric motor to power supply. So the first thing you have to check the motor reading, motor reading voltage and the current by looking at the enabling. Then you have to check the type of the motor. What is uh, your type of the motor? Whether AC or DC. You have to measure the supply voltage by the meter. 
you have to test that Mordak is really resisted by the Mega and you have to check any damage on the body or not you have to check the time plus supply cord use the insulation and then uh, you have to handle the model you have to join the supply you need to observe it lay a vibration on the model if you are working in the Paris uh, petrol station what is the method to be followed to avoid the risk of the explosion and gas in this case uh, when you are working in the petrol station there must be no bare conductor no battery charger no discharge lamp you have to follow the hazard principle of the air three down there now those things are the preventing the risks and you have to remove the, all the ignitivous uh, substance from the petrol station and you have to remove the all power pipe that can start the ignition so this is the isolated rice and then uh, you have to allocate the appropriate uh, carbon dioxide fire institution to reduce the risk so those things have to be done so the biological hazard means the uh, physical hazard are the Straight for vibration, radiation, noise, unguarded machine, electric shock. Autonomic hazards are the type of the wall, frequency, body position, poor lighting, improperly adjusted force station. They can cause a threat on the body. Chemical hazard, they are the chemical produce, solid, liquid, and cleaning agent, also the vapor, fuel, dangerous gas, they are chemical hazard and biological hazards are animal, plant, bacteria, and insect. So the, any fire hazard is caused by the pure heat and oxygen. So the two causes of fire, pure is a main thing, and pure heat oxygen. If you let something, fire will not happen. Therefore, the, if you want to execute the fire, cooling, cooling means that by using the water, removing the heat, or they use the CO2, to prevent the water uh, air so this is a few are here oxygen three days are important for the fire so that if you want to extinguish a fire you have to remove one day So they are the different type of the fire extinguisher. Two type fire extinguishers are the contain the aqueous solution, free from the, the concentrated and washer. They are extinguished and liquid fire. Where can we get fire extinguishers are aqueous solution to the to fire spray? They cool the surface to remove the heat could element. Dry can make a half is the push out they are spray oxygen element on the fire from the pure the powder also this disrupt the uh, chemical reaction. Water is the push out are they to execute the solid fire. So this is the carbon outside fire is the push out. They display the oxygen element on the fire. So this is for the kind of the fire is the push and the type of the fire you have to apply. So this table means a uh, class of the fire. If you are uh, Fire is a solid uh, wood paper. You can use a phone dye, where can we get dry dye, water, but you can use a carbon dye outside. Premium liquid, you can use a phone dye, but you can use a wet can we get. You can use a dry can we get. You cannot use a water. You can use a carbon dye outside. Premium gas, you cannot use a phone dye. You cannot use a wet can we get. You can use a dry can we get. You cannot use a water. You cannot use a carbon dye outside. Electric fire, you cannot use a phone dye. You cannot use a wet chemical, you can use the dry chemical, you cannot use the water, you can use a uh, carbon dioxide. Yeah. Cooking oil effect, you can use the phone dye fire and sinusha, wet chemical, you can use dry chemical, you can use, but you can use the water and you can use the carbon dioxide. This is for the uh, how to uh, use a properly use a kind of the fire and sinusha for the type of the fires.
In the meantime, so this is what the first part of the occupation has said. Then we are talking about the drill and drilling. Drilling operation is used to mark the hole in the jaw when you did like, the, like using the rotating cutting tool. This is called a drill. So this is the part of the drill. They mean that here you got a tank. This is a most stable. Here is a helix. This angle. Here is a helix and here are flu. So this this thing is a body clear then. So when you cut the drill, you can see the body clear in this one. So this is a cut angle. Here is a diameter. And here you see from the back, the front, you can see like this. From the side, you can see the front. And this angle is a white angle. Cutting A is a working part of the drill. Must be the in contact with the jaw. So this is cutting edge. Chase the S are located the drill and the form the people white. So this is for the drilling. The drill bit, the view of the drill bit and their components. So fruit is a helicopter group. Shine is a uh, straight post white. So this is what we can do the fruit. Shine. They are done. They are technical terms. And also the cutting clear the angle. Here is this is the tip of the drill. This is the white angle. This is a half white angle. So this this thing is a lip white, clear the angle. So the length and the white angle and the lip clear angle are made proper. If the length and the white angle are not proper, so that it cannot it cannot cut the properly. So the correct location of the white is also important aspect. So sometimes you are using the oversight or other side, so it can happen the uh, oversight or other side drill, it can also have uh, affect the, your the drilling. So then we are talking using about the drilling machine. So this is the uh, pitch out the drilling machine. Here is base, here is walk, walk, walk table, here is vice. So on the vice, you can hold your equipment and here is drill bit. You have to attach a drill bit and here you got the bell motor and handle lever. So when you drive the hand lever and you put down and drill bit will penetrate uh, your walk equipment. So this is our walk equipment. So uh, in uh, your practice, uh, you can cut the dip metal piece eh? and you have to drill it. So in this case, uh, you put the metal piece eh? here in jaw, here you can put the timber and you can you can attach with a vise and then you can drill it. So that, that your predicate, you cut the uh, metal piece and you can drill it. So here is a fastener. Then we use a bucket head fastener. They utilize for the light angle steel. Here is a dynamo. Dynamo is a dynamo, a two, three anchor, and a masonry. Here with a, here is a screw. So you get a flat blade, a shank, wood screw. Here is a heavy toggle. Here is a spring toggle. So they are kind of the fitting equipment. We have utilized in the workshop. Course we use for the heavy duty facing demon. Rainwater is a drill using the task in the type of drill side. So there are two kinds of the drill bit. You can use a, the, the drill bit utilized for the metal cutting cannot be used for the concrete. So you have to utilize the task in type of drill bit. So this is river, you can utilize the task in type of drill bit. So this is the drilling machine that construction and you have to use it uh, drilling the work pieces. Okay, so Okay, this aspect is uh, all the for the three ones today. What I taught you is the uh, occupation and health safety and the work environment. And also, I explain you about the 
drilling. So I explain you about the drill, drill, drilling machine. Use all the drilling. Also, then apply all the fitting materials. So those things I will utilize. Yeah, yeah, so then, this is just a do this a uh, uh, trick electrical trick higher speed lesson is we finish up to the base of 42 so we explain about the pollution system and also the sustainable replied how we will use the waste so then we explain about the environment aspect and for the electrical trick we talking about the emergency system then we talking about the uh, emergency workshop uh, electrical engineer workshop Friday we explain about the so last piece we talk about the this 23 uh finish we two days we about the face are 23. Okay, so today's are uh, electric trades are uh, uh, beginner level. We are talking about the manual handling. So manual handling is very important because of the manual handling is uh, used to uh, describe the any activity requiring the use of the hand or the body to lift the light or medium or heavy load, shift the position low by the pulling, dragging, pushing, moving, and also the collect the two and material for the storage to adjust the position of equipment and unload the wire. So those are the manual handling. Manual handling also cover the activities which require the use of the bodily bodies are force. Uh, if you are using the operational power tool or the cover or the repetitive mobile using the screwdriver or the keyboard activity, they are also the manual handling. So those manual handlings are important aspect because of the it can cause an injury. So the injury caused by the manual handling are the back injury, spike, joy, like mat, muscle, in the vibrated uh, teeth, they are can be the damage by the man uh, bronze or manual method. And handlings are hand and leg injury can happen. Finger, hand, feet, toe, finger can be injured. Injury to wrist, thigh, and, and can happen. Injury to back, shoulder can happen. Bruising to the various parts of the body and uh, abnormal in the wall of the muscle, tissue, and the membrane that normally hold the uh, uh, organ in a place. So those are the damage to the uh, your body parts because of the rounds and manual handling method. The function of spine is important, very important because of this, there must be the uh, slight uh, involvement in the every muscle at all. So if you are moving the end of the body, it can impact on your spine. The stress on the spine due to the activity, lower spine is a very mobile, the it bends and forward and backward and twisting can happen. Therefore, the twisting or the jacking while the living or the carrying the, uh, can injure the small uh, faces and joints in the, your spine. So the back injury can happen, spine, joint, like me, muscle, any intervibrates are this can happen. So the hand and leg injury can cause to the finger, hand and two and finger can happen. Injury to the wrist, thigh and get injury to back, shoulder and can happen. Bruising to the various part of the body, abnormality in the wall or the muscle tissue, Membrane can hold on the organ in the place can cause to this uh, injury. So functional spine is a uh, every uh, moment in the every macular muscular effort and they also uh, uh, impact on the, your spine. So therefore the twisting, jacking and uh, when uh, you are living something you do not twist uh, your body. If you are twist a uh, body it can uh, damage the, it can impact on the, your spine and uh, you can get a back injury.
Therefore, the, uh, you have to uh, uh, know about the thing. So that we have to use uh, all the interoperators. Uh, uh, these are the, they are joining the, the mass uh, between the, uh, your spy. So that if they are just uh, in main alignment, you can also feel this uh, uncomfortability. So also you can feel the back pain. So therefore, the direct injury are caused by the unexpected happening. For example, electrician walking on the irregular ground. Why can the heavy uh, electric equipment? They are, you are using a heavy, carrying the heavy electric equipment, and you are walking on the irregular ground. In this case, you slip, and then you can cause a back injury happen. And also, the before the this is a the, due to the those are injury. Before you are leaving anything, you need to assess. We have to uh, assess the uh, weight on the load. You have to position and the location on the load, and also nature of the load. Where the load has to be carried or the move, where to be taken, what are the requirements are you also important? Uh, if the, your uh, load is uh, too heavy, do not leave it alone. You must call uh, someone to help or the mechanic assistant. Keep the load close to your body and maintain the balance. Use uh, your leg if you are uh, waiting something, you have to bend your leg slightly and your, your leg now must have to take the weight. Do not turn on the twist of your body once you have the lift and always bend your knee when you're sitting on the low down. So when you are put down the low, you have to knee that's are your bend the knee and then you then put. So this is the way how do that you are using the manual handling method. So the alternative manual handling is also important. Alternative manual handling is for the carrying or the moving the low. So they can use it whenever. Uh, possible to minimize the lifting and the care bending activities. So no other material bending are into the lift track, scissor track, pellet track, and also the lever, crowbar. So they are the uh, full leg, manual full leg. Also uh, you are using the lever to take off the thing and the scissor lift track, pellet track, and also the pellet track are utilized to uh, uh, move away the pellet. So then also you use the overhead crane to get that weight also in one aspect. So the sovereigns are simple procedure, you have to follow the your lifting the weight. Make sure that the, you are standing directly in front of the item you wish to lift. Check the item if the item has a hand there, when you can use it and know where you are taking the object before you begin. Position that your feet are evenly and keep the, your back straight and stand up tall. Tighten your stomach muscle. Sweat to the floor by bending your knees. Do not move your upper body. Take the whole of the object family with the, your whole hands and also the, uh, distribute the, your weight evenly. Keeping the object close to your body, begin to stand up by straight your neck. Stand up slowly. Do not move that quickly or jump around. Doing this, you can walk with the, your object without placing the body. If you are carrying a large object, which restrict the, your view, ask if someone to assist guide you. When you are placing the item down, bend your leg. And remember to uh, keep your back straight as you bend the down again. And be careful to lower the inside of the object to flow separately. So who is responsible for the housekeeping? So all staff and management are, are, are responsible. And also you have to utilize the appropriate OSHA precaution. So that you are using the end of house hollow wall facing, you should have called PPE. Also the, uh, and before you are doing anything, you have to check the wall for the end of it. Because of sometimes you create a thing inside there with electrical cable, it can cause electrical fall. What are the notification incidents so death of the person or the serious injury, illness and dangerous incident? They are the notification incident. So the workplace hazard include the physical hazard, so machine, electrical, vibration, temperature, agronomic hazard is a round body supposition and a warm method that can harm the body, chemical hazard are solid, liquid, solvent, gas, biology hazard in the body, fluids. Bacteria, viral, insect, animals, those are the uh, very uh, dangerous in the of your workplace hazards. So the, uh, this is for this, uh, we are talking about the uh, occupation and health safety aspect. Also then we are talking about the tapping and the threading.
So here is a V thread, here is a ACM thread, here is square thread, here is a Badawo thread. So here will be the uh, their indication on a lead and a page. So this is a page, this is a lead. So this is a right hand thread, and this is a left hand thread. Right hand thread is a you turn right side, clockwise, left hand thread you can you can tighten by uh, turning the anti clockwise. So you turn the clockwise, you can tighten, this is a right hand thread. You turn in the clockwise and tighten, this is a left hand thread. So the, uh, you are checking the any school page, uh, you are using a gate. So this is the page find the school page gate, you can utilize the school page gate to check the, your thread. Here is a A star net thread, so this is a stop. Stop here, inside here you die, you put a die in here, and then we can, uh, we can use the internet threading. So the A star net threading, internet threading, we can utilize with this uh, tie. In the other day, we are utilized it tap. So this is what in the other day, we are tap. In the other day, we can utilize it tap. You know, I have a stop. It's on a tapping, you can stop and die. Here is a thread. So here is a tap. So you put a tap like this, and then you can thread the hole. So in this case, uh, when you are using the uh, tap range, uh, this is the time, uh, the diagram of the tap range. So, so when you are using a tab, they are tab bar in our media and the bottom. So firstly, first, uh, here is a, here to here you can use a tab bar, top bar, and in the media is a most of the tabbing, and the bottom here you can utilize the bottom in thread. So there are three that have to be utilized. So the tabbing whole side is equal to the normal diameter minor pitch. This is the way we can create the tabbing whole side. So if you see the M14 multiplied by two, that thread means a Cosine is a uh, 14, and here is a 2. So 14 minus 2, you call this a 12. So this is the nominal diameter is a 14, P is a 2. And 14, uh, 2 multiplied by 2 uh, indicate that uh, this is for the nominal diameter is a 14 millimeter, P is a 2. So 14 minus 2, you got the cosine 12 millimeter. So this is the way we calculate the cosine. So the Two fishing is a fishing made through the item to be scored. Set uh, turbine screws are used for the fishing into the sheet metal or the timber. Can be get anchor used for the fishing to measure the near the edge. So this is for the uh, thread and the time. So in this case, uh, in the lower level three course, I explain you about the uh, occupation of workplace work safety as well as a turbine and threading. Okay, then uh, we're talking about the uh, diploma. So we're talking about the uh, electrical trick as Okay, so electric case, uh, what's your price is, which is very about.
Now so we are talking about that are working at the high. When we are you're working at the high, where do you apply say you have to utilize a uh, letter accident. So when we are using the letter, so one people is uh, climbing, so one people have to hold the letter. Or they have to tie the letter or you have to put the card. So the college letter usually is an important aspect because of the you have to select the appropriate letter weight height and the letter weight and also correct letter angle. And let the letter angle here is a, this is the ground line, this is a letter, the angle must not be too wide or too narrow. And also affected letter control is important. So because of one person working at a height, another person has to hold a letter. Or a public tie and a cadet has to utilize. Or the we do letter must be uh, put onto the uh, even surface and appropriate gas not be utilized and that angle must be appropriate angle. So we have to start check the letter in the all aspect. Uh, so then also the to work the safely, do not work without proper checking. Letter type can be depending on the low capacity and also domestic type and the industry. So there are three kinds of the letter types. Letter materials are utilized as uh, wood, aluminum, fiber, glass, and steel. So the standard are uh, they utilize as ASR and ZSR 1892.1, 1996 edition for the portable letter material. ES and 1992, portable letter of timber. ES and 1982.5, 1996, the portable letter, reinforced plastic. ES and 1982.5, the 2000 edition for portable letter, selection and safe use in the case. So this is the importance of the letter. So the different type of the letter can be there's a single bullet letter. So this is the maximum length is a 9 meter. Extension letter, maximum length is a 15 meter. Step letter, maximum length is 6.1 meter. So the QLs are purpose letter, they can use the stored letter hinge to provide the extension. Uh, also, platform, we use the body and letter. So in this case, uh, the low rating, uh, heavy duty low rating is a 120 kilogram minimum. And light duty low rating is a 100 kilograms uh, maximum. So when we are using the uh, letter, you have you to uh, you can go the top, you have to put the, about two or three steps. Two steps, you have to be a spare. So this is the correct one, this is the long, long one. Climb the letter and the drain the sub vibration must be appropriate to the letter span. Sometimes uh, you have to climb on the letter and you have to do the uh, drain machine to drain it. In this case, uh, the vibration must be uh, withstood by the letter. So that vibration span and the letter span must be the appropriate. So the when you are using a letter, important is a manufacturer name, important also low rating on the working lens on the letter in important aspect, those things have to utilize. So this is the things that letters are utilizing the important information about the letter. So that before that you are using the letter, you need to check safe letter safety. All letter must be inspected on the delivery after the suspected damage and once or every six months. It's important. Uh, Elvis are broken, split, crack, decay. So this is a leather and also the back dress and abrasion. You have to check properly. And style stock must be missing or not. Split, broken, crack, corner. You have to check properly. And also the other school need to check whether the school are worn or loose and broken or the wall or decay or happening. You have to check. And also leather ram. You have to check. So this is the letter uh, component of the letter. This is for the uh, tie. This is the stock and uh, bracing. So they have to check properly. And also the tie and the run. You have to check or decay. So you have to check it. So the step letters are the this is for the we can utilize a fiberglass, aluminium, and so on letter. So that you can uh, only step. You can walk, but you can walk on on here like this. And you have to. The three point connection, touching important. Put two legs on the letter must touch the ground and the top must be uh, against the lay on the wall. So this is three point connection important aspect. So this is the letter connection. When you set the letter, three point connection is important. So point one point two are two legs on the letter must be properly touched on the ground and point three is the top of the letter must touch with the leg the wall. 
no, also important aspect. Oh, step letters are important. Step letters should be uh, uh, utilized fully open. All the step letters, if you like step letters, must be uh, fully open. Another thing that they spread on the equal survey. You do not stand the letter on the uneven survey, must be the even surface. The thread uh, must be the fully open. Never climb on the uh, brazen. Do not touch, stand on the brazen, important aspect. The worker should not stand above the top and always have the three points. Uh, contest. Do not use a wet timber or the fiberglass and stand leather and industrial type. In the electrical shock can happen because of the sometimes you also have to aware of electrical shock, electrical wire attached to the ladder, and the your ladder is metallic, it can cause an electrical shock. So the important aspect, another thing is a worker height is a uh, normally one by seven meter, one meter above the ground, they must have the appropriate uh, buffer zone in important aspect. So here you use as a ladder here. So this is one meter here. 1 by 7 meter and 1 by 5 meter per bar. So that, this is the correct. So today is a 4 by 9 meter. Walker high is a 1 by 7 meter, and 1 meter above the ground, and 1 by 9 meter sub per bar. So if you are working the un, in the buffer zone, you must use a uh, light safety. Light safety. So the light this is why attached to the other fish uh, uh, installation, and then you can uh, utilize. So this is the harness uh, wire. Is, Connected, Hana wire is a, to see the light of the worker is attached to the other permanent uh, uh, install, uh, permanent uh, tool or the permanent uh, column. We attach to the harness wire and the Hana wire attached to the worker. The installation of the repair work is to be carried out. Uh, in this case, uh, appropriate for protection equipment must be provided. So this is the four rest must be provided across the AS as a 1841.4. So that we only climb up to the mid position. If you are using a single one down, only climb to the mid position. Now this uh, two person carry the data so that they must carry on a same shoulder. So single or the accession letter should not stand above the tattoo gram. So this is about the uh, appropriate letter of construction. And uh, when we are working on this uh, rooftop, so in this case I uh, always uh, have the three points contact, this important aspect. They are used to reach the working surface of the roof might extend the edge one meter apart. So is this if we are using the data, so this is surface, this is about the, the roof, this must be one meter longer. Do not use the well data, never leave the data unattended. Only one person should be on the ladder at any time. Never walk the ladder to an adjacent location by standing on ladder and leaving the edge. In this case, sometimes you are walking on the here. Uh, you cannot move from you can if you are walking on the, this position and we want to change to the another position you have to go down and you have to change the ladder this is also ladder position is also important aspect so the important aspect is uh, when you are using the ladder is actually ladder never needs a loud so we are, if you are using the exertion ladder you have to love properly so when you are walking you ever face a ladder so your face you are facing a letter and you go up and you go down. So sometimes uh, to make the four protection device, uh, elevated wall platforms are utilized, so EWP. EWP are, in, in, uh, are you also utilized. So they are the CSR device and they are the, uh, the bone lift uh, also utilized. So this is the telescopic CSR device and bone lift are utilized. So the 
training for the appropriate use the important aspect. If, if you are using this uh, EWB, you need to uh, attend the EWB training. Uh, also, uh, you need to uh, properly maintain the EWB and also uh, no, not overreaching by using the EWB is also an important aspect. So this is for the, we are talking about this uh, EWB method. And regarding this uh, uh, joining technique, we use a fast training device. We use the thread bow and na. So this is the bow and na connection. So in this case, the method through the cat screw. So they are tied off the cat screw. So also we use a washer. We use a spring washer and a thread washer. So this is a neck connection. And also this is a low nut and this is a standard nut. It's also utilized. The low nut is a we adjust a position. So the, uh, we also have to utilize set tapping screw. So this is a gimlet white, a plastic bolt screw, or a flat head, and narrow head, mushroom head screw are also utilized. Also the nylon port rubbers are also utilized and digger bugger heads are also utilized. So this is the uh, connection devices. So that we utilize the rubber. So this is rubber gun. So the tie of the rubber gun, we also utilize the rubber. So this is the temporary connection. For the permanent connection, we have to utilize the welding machine. The fusion method, where the material is being joist, are the uh, they are the using the fusion method. So this is MLW is a manual method at welding. So this is when the electrical current flow here, the electrical currents are uh, heat the electrode, the electrode melt down, and then they free the free with the metal. So this is the electrode uh, connection. And also the, to increase the current flow into the electrode, we use a welding transformer. Welding transformer increase the current and secondly why the high current will pass into the electrode and the wall piece, then the electrode will be heat up and the, the metal will be melt down and the they free the free with the metal. So the transformer provides the high current at the last nuts to make the uh, arc between the thrust carbon electrode and the water temperature. So this is the temperature it becomes a system of the DD syndicate. So this is for the welding method. So now it is a process of joining methods uh, together by means of the aligned method into the joint after the application as a suitable press. So this is a solar ring and the solar connection. Here is the LC acetylene version. LC chain and acetylene are heat up and from the north end we are lighted and then we can just add electric up. We heat the um, your metal and then we can provide the electric LC uh, acetylene welding. Resistance for welding are utilized to heat uh, uh, resulting from the resistance to an electric current passing through the metal being dried. So this is for the connection of the vice. This is the vice connection. So this is how the tapping, tapping the threading diagram. Okay, so this is the way that we are utilizing electric as a process. So I explained about the connection, connection tapping, also the uh, use of the connection joining method, and also we talking about the electric led, uh, ladder safety, ladder safety and the walking at the height. We explain, I explain also the we use the joining technique. Joining techniques are how to use a uh, tapping screw, threading, or the bow nut, and electric welding method. So I explain. So this is for the electrical trade one lesson. And regarding the advantage diploma, we look at the side. Here you try to make the uh, holes in the jaw by using a rotating machine. It is called a Ray and the gray bit. Here is a gray bit. So this, this is we got a tan. Here is shank. Here is a body. Here is hillish angle. And here we got a flu. So this is a gradient. So when you see that on the front, then we the cutting side angle. You can see the body clearing diameter. And here is a front the uh, side. You can see that point three. So the cutting edge depending on the you have to the walking path on the tree. Also, it must be in contact with the jaw. So in this case, I change the edge on the located the drain and the form the pivot part. 
So this is more like a guy on the three and their component. So crew is a heli has together. Group share is a straight up portion. Cutting clear and get here. This angle is cutting clear and get this is we call a point and get this is the half point and get. Here is a thick the clear and get. Then the point and get and then the clear and get and the correct location of point is it. They are the main problem related to the drilling. So that when you are doing the, any drilling problem, we have to uh, know about the latch and the point and get, the clear and get, as well as the correct location of the chaser point. Those are important aspects for the drilling. So the, in this case, uh, the uh, drill can be the oversight or the underside who can happen. If you do not concern properly about the uh, drilling and get or point and get, the hole can be the either oversight or the undersized. So that in the practice, uh, you can uh, make the drill all the those are work piece. Here is a drilling machine. The drilling machine is a this is a uh, simple uh, diagram on the drilling machine. So the drilling machine got the spring the guard. Also here is a vice. Here is a bell and the motor and the hand is a lever. Here is a locking handle and work table. Here is a base. So those are component of the drilling machine. So that we have to uh, hold the workpiece by the vice. Here is a timber we put here. This is a workpiece here. And then we can lower the, the, the hand, handle and the, the drill. Uh, we cut it through the uh, workpiece. So this is the workpiece can be cut by using the drill. So that that one project right is you can do it. So this is that we are talking about the drill in the machine. In the meantime, we also need to uh, do the stepping and the threading. So to join the uh, one conjure to another conjure or the one. So in this case, we have to do the uh, uh, stepping and threading. So this is the kind of the tap. This is we call the white thread. This is the ACME thread. Here is a square thread. Here is a butter, uh, buttress thread. So then we this talk uh, to talk. Be the distance between the one thread to another thread door, this is we call the lead, and here we call the pitch. So this is a single start thread. Here is the double start thread. So here's a right hand thread, you turn the to the cross white. So this thread will be going down, this is the right hand thread. If you turn the uh, in the cross white and the thread is going down, this is a left hand thread. So thread can be uh, uh, measured by using the Check that the pitch by the school, uh, uh, school pitch and cage. So this is a school's uh, uh, pitch cage. This school big cage is uh, utilized to uh, uh, check the uh, pitch, the pitch. You can, um, you can measure by using the school uh, pitch cage. Here is a, uh, in the external thread can be formed by using the, here with the stock and the tie. So here is stock. This stock is a, uh, will hold as a, the, it's on the thread. So this is we call the adjustable screw. And here I flew. This is a chamber. This is we call the tie. So this the tie we put into this uh, stout so that we fit into this uh, stout and then we can uh, form the A standard thread. So this here how to uh, form the A standard thread. By turning the handle, we can uh, make that uh, thread on, to, on this uh, any pipe or any conjure. So this is the cutting. Uh, in the meantime, so this is for the internal thread is that you have to use a tag. So here is the internal thread here. So that will be the first lease uh, we have to use a taper and then, then you have to use the intermediate. Finally, we get the bottom end thread. So this is the how to cut the thread. So here is a, this is we got a tag. The tag is that we fit to the, the tie. Then we can uh, cut the uh, external thread. So here is a, a tab uh, wrench. The turbine whole side can be calculated by the formula nominal diameter minus a pitch. For example, F14 multiplied to thread. How to cut it? In this case, uh, uh, nominal diameter F14 means nominal diameter 14 and uh, pitch is a 2. So the uh, nominal diameter minus pitch is a 14 minus 2 is equal to 12 millimeter. So this is the whole side is a 12 millimeter. You have to cut the thing. So this is the uh, thread. So in this case, are uh, the uh, a true fishing is a fishing made through the items to be scored and the set turbine schools are used for the fishing into the uh, sheet metal or the timber and the chemical anchors are used for the fishing the masonry are near the bridge. 
So this is for the uh, kind of the uh, tap. So this is the tap tap the diagram. Here is a three three bit. So I do this case. Uh, I have already explained you about the uh, electrical engineer practice. So today lesson I include the uh, how to fix the electrical wire diagram, how to use the your hand tools, how to cut the sheet metal. All these are aspect of the electrical uh, engineer practice. Then we are talking about the electrical uh, engineer practice finish, and then we also talk about the electrical engineer trade practice. Regarding the electrical uh, engineer uh, trade practice, we were talking about the safe working in the confined space. So the what is the meaning of the confined space? Confined space is a enclosed or the factories are enclosed area, who is not planned for the or the identity are principally as a place on the wall, especially the underground tap or the boiler. Those are the Confined space as well as a refrigerator room, they are the not the normal working place. They don't have the appropriate ventilation, appropriate tem right temperature, appropriate uh, uh, light lighting condition. Those are the weekends are uh, classified as a confined space. Therefore, uh, when you are using the working in the confined space, appropriate are uh, restrictions. Uh, appropriate restrictions are set up for the confined space. So you need as an appropriate training to work in the confined space. So they are the example of the confined space are the gray and the transit pitch, sewer, pedestrian and the tunnel, dark wall, and the shop and the live wire, and the related ceiling, basement, cool room, storage room, and closets, plant room, and the clay gauge. In the meantime, in the list of the storage tank, pressure vessel, weekend vessel, wireless, so those are the examples of the confined space. So the kind of the danger can happen in the confined space because of there will be a low oxygen, heat stroke can happen, and also there's a gastrotrophic uh, and also the task, cold sweat, and treatment can happen. Now, then with the poison, I guess, can also on the barrier, being a solid, mechanical motion. So those are heat impact, noise, fire, I impact when you are handling an explosion, those are the kind of the danger can be can happen at the confined space. So therefore that we have to utilize uh, the something that can normally regarded as a confined space may be done there uh, and normal the subject that would not normally regarded as a confined space 
may be Ghana for my speech. Especially the wedding. This means that the operation, uh, the place and uh, the ordinaries are you, previously this is a normal working place, but it can be kind of confined way. For example, you are doing a wedding. So you do the wedding in the workshop, the workshop got the appropriate ventilation, appropriate heat, appropriate temperature. This is a normal working space. But if you are doing the wedding, weddings are produced the gas. Guests are with the immediate guests will be surrounded you. So the surrounded body. So that means you are in a confined way because of the you will no longer get the appropriate uh, oxygen. So this way be there. That place is begun as a combined way. So therefore that you have to be aware of. In working in a workshop, the workshop is a normal working place. But because of the, your activity and the, your walls are punching, your workplace will become also the confined way. In this case, you also need to be aware of. This is why uh, the people you are working, appropriate safety assessment in body aspect. So that you have to assess the risk and you have to do the control. You have to start follow the appropriate safety procedure. You have to do the appropriate preparation before working in the combined space. So in this case, are the preparation before working in the combined space means that you have to utilize the appropriate suitable emergency response mask to be followed. And also the first aid procedure and the provision must be followed. Although you have to utilize the appropriate safety equipment. So the entry permits are important aspect. When we are working in the confined space, you must have the confined space uh, certificate of provision C must be posted by the worker who will work in the confined space. So there will be there. You also need a safety observer. So we observer must be available at the entrance to the confined space. So the this safety observer must provide the appropriate information to assist the uh, workers, rescue workers. So therefore, the, in the case of the emergency. The safety observer must work, provide the appropriate uh, information regarding the worker in the combined space. Also, have to assist the uh, rescue worker. So this is the important aspect of the combined space assistant. Therefore, the combined space are the you also have to utilize the gas detector because of the underground system. There will be gas will be the dangerous gas can be the leak. In this case, uh, you have to utilize the appropriate gas detector. So vice we can have the dangerous gas. So you have to use the gas detector to detect the dangerous gas. So the both gas detector must be approved by crossing with the Australian standard. The combined space gas are the oxygen, combustible, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, chlorine, chlorine dioxide, phosphate, ammonia, hydrogen cyanide. So those are the kind of the combined space spec. Okay, so those combined space the gas need to be protected against. The combustible hazard can be the toxic atmosphere, oxygen deficiency, oxygen enrichment, pre-wet explosive atmosphere, flowing of the liquids and the free flowing of solid and the ACSs. Those are the combustible hazards. So that you have to be aware of the any combustible hazard if you are working in the combustible. So the every confined space when you are working, so the confined space observer must be located. So the confined space observer has a duty and responsibility. Maybe the accurate context of the uh, Maintain the accurate count of the any person within the combined space. So the, the workers are enter in the combined space. So that the safety of the man must count how many workers is going into the combined space, how many workers are working in the combined space. Any person who get out and cut out from this person must be counted and you have to delete that person. So this is why so that you they can know that how many workers are really working in the combined space at the one time. So monitor the activity inside and outside the confined space to the detecting the weather is remain safe for the uh, entrance to remain inside the confined space. In this case, uh, appropriate gas level or appropriate temperature level must be monitored through the appropriate equipment. In the meantime, the appropriate outside situation must be watched. Therefore, if anything happen, so the people inside the confined space must be uh, notified immediately 
and to solve the war and to get out from the place. So this is the duty of the convoy space observer. And also the need to be the committed in the gas detection procedure. Because of the convoy space, in the convoy space, dangerous gas will be coming out. So that the safety observer need to uh, detect the gas. And also the appropriate protocol must be followed to ensure the safety of the worker in the uh, survey if required. So the enforce the confined space are permit and comply with its control measure, including the rescue plan. So before that any workers are going down to the confined space, they must produce that their confined space are free of proficiency and safety observer must produce the, provide the any some permit. So the, the worker must comply with this, uh, those permit and also control the also the make the appropriate plan for the rescue plan. Maintain the effective and the continuous contact with the all people working inside the space, including the rescue plan. So the, therefore the co-fire space observer regularly need to do this, uh, any radio contact with the people working in the confined space. So therefore the, the safety observer know about the situation inside and have to uh, perform with the cooperate with the appropriate rescues of people to rescue the worker. Uh, prevent the entry of unauthorized person in the confined space in order the evacuation of the confined space if necessary. Those are the duty and responsibility of the confined space uh, of Sava. So that in this case uh, sometimes workers are working in the on the underground so that they are evacuate evacuations are uh, excavations are uh, system in this case, uh, the worker here, those are the uh, debris can fall down into the, onto the worker head. So they fall into the trench or the excavation or the tripping over the equipment, debris, the spy, excavated um, materials, objects falling on the worker and unstable adjacent structure. Those are the important aspect of the hazard of the excavation. Therefore, they, you also have to uh, handle the place are poorly because of the sound of the place are that they are not uh, properly uh, designed. So in this case, the poorly uh, placed material will fall down onto the worker. So those are important aspects. So the confined space uh, entry assessment goes yeah, must be followed. So therefore the equipment are uh, utilized, you have to utilize the same pan. The pan means that you have to test uh, any liquid. Here is a pan, here and these uh, liquids are uh, pan out. And you have to test a liquid to test a liquid in the combined space and also whether and it also the uh, interpreting the data and the logging function that included also that we have to sample air so the air in the combined space that take out and we have to detail with the gas data whether the gas are still contain the appropriate sea level or not need to be detected so that this is the data so in this case are the I do that, that this uh, meter, the purity level need to be uh, assessed. So the confined space of training need to be provided for the person working in the confined space. So it can be the legislation, government legislations are uh, govern the confined space uh, the working system. And cooperate is uh, we have to follow the ASL 2861, 2001 uh, addition. This is so working in the confined space must be followed. And combined with hazards identification system must be utilized and save up procedure must be followed. So the confined space entry and the AC procedure must also be followed. So that we also have to the quality fitting and the full body harness is an important aspect. All the worker must wear the appropriate uh, pro protective gear. And also the uh, presence uh, apparatus uh, must be utilized and also gas detail, gas must be detected. Appropriate rescue and emergency procedure must be followed and the firefighting equipment must be the used and utilized uh, properly. So these are the important aspects of the confined space system. So the Oxygen level is also important aspect because of the in that you are working in the underground or the any confined space, you also need to assess the oxygen level. Oxygen level is you no know, between the eighty-eight percent to ninety-two percent is a safe, but the oxygen level is 
below the 84 percent, it will be dangerous. But people will not get the appropriate oxygen, so that it can be the very risky for that they are safety and they are alive. So appropriate oxygen level must be uh, 92 to 88 percent must be the uh, appropriate range. Too much oxygen also the problem. The too much oxygen can quickly uh, uh, spread the uh, spread the light the molecule or the single uh, electron. So in this case, uh, causing the rapid uh, aging, disruption, and the kill the cell. So this is an important aspect of the uh, oxygen level. So we also need to uh, know about the appropriate uh, oxygen level and in the compact space. So the, to do the general principle of the combined speed work, we have to conduct the risk assessment. What kind of the risk happen, whether uh, they are the dangerous material or dangerous uh, oxygen level, we have to assess. And uh, also the update the entry permits, use a lot of the tech of system to isolate the all form of the energy, isolate the area and the post of one inside, check the all personal protective equipment and the risk batteries are protective equipment. Ensure the safe equipment on site, check and ready for use. Pass and ventilate the confined space. So, passing can be accomplished by using the steam, water, or the inner gas on air. Test the osmosia for the harmful gas and ensure the emergency response plan, rescue plan, and so including the, the planet exit. So, those are the confined space procedure. So that we are working in the uh, combined space, we have must follow the general principle of the combined space work. So the combined space training must be provided. So that the training provided to the relevant workers must cover the nature of the all hazard. What kind of hazard can happen associated with the combined space? The need for the appropriate use of the risk control measure is also important aspect. We also have the appropriate selection, use, fit and the storage of the any personal protective equipment. Also, the, the contents of the any relevant combined space entry permit and the emergency procedure. Those, are in, those must be included in the confined space uh, training. So this is all the, without the confined space training, the student uh, does uh, work out must not be allowed to walk. So the appropriate uh, uh, safety or the responsibility must be the, uh, of follow. So this is all the important of the uh, combined space system. In the meantime, we are talking about the basic wiring system. So then we need the uh, electrical one light controlling the one switch. So this is a thermoplastic sheet cable and the light the switch cable here. And also the power to CP is also important. We are using the any power to so that we have to wear the power to CP is a, uh, before you are using the any uh, power to you must wear the appropriate personal protective equipment and also you have to keep the work tidy, work area tidy, and also the uh, be also aware of the height and uh, top rating of the equipment. Do not lay down until they are stopped and rotation and maintain your balance, especially on the ladder when you are using the power tool and the drilling on the ladder, you must be aware of your balance. And uh, when the drilling or the gliding, also you have to all the glider must be the squarely climate. Electrical safety must be observed. Always inspect the two people are, you are using. So you also verify the two has been a test for the safety are recently. You need to check the condition of the cable uh, before you are using the anything. And you also lay out the electrical cable so they are they must not be the danger. Do not use the electrical cable. Why I why do not Use a leakage of protection device, disconnect the lead before the, uh, to get any adjustment. Those are the uh, electrical power to uh, save this system in body. So there will be the uh, grinding machine. So when you are using a grinding machine, this is a grinding wheel. So we must wear the eye protection. You must use the straight the grinder, engage and the grinder. You have to tie the grinder. You have to send up the other kind of the grinder. Do some, the grinder function to smooth the surface to remove the undesirable metal parts. So they never put the excessive pressure on the wheel when you are gliding. When you are gliding, do not press too much because gliding wheel can be uh, broken and then do deeply to hurt you. Never grind the soft material is also important. This is for the daily machine. So when you are using the daily machine, you also have to see the appropriate uh, uh, capability, child capability, and also you have to check the capacity of the uh, daily machine. 
qui a vu le sacula sol. Le sacula sol est utilisé pour le thème cadem. Le thème où il y a le cadem, le thème où il y a le sacula sol, le thème où il y a le sacula sol, il y a le thème où il y a le sacula sol, on a le linéa et le cadem, et il y a le sacula sol, ça peut être le cadem en matière. Donc, il y a le chien, le machin, le chien, le gain, also this is a nega to cut the shimata. So therefore then we also have to find the, in this case a uh, uh, nega by the uh, remote C shape piece of the material under the uh, so we are we are to utilize this with the cutting the C shape piece of the material. So the you can also uh, look at the E wall to the wobble from the page two to twelve on the page nine to twelve. So you can you can uh, see the page page two and page nine, uh, E wall to walk up. You can also see the uh, appropriate uh, uh, reference materials. Here is the electric switch diagram. The electric switch, the socket outlets are diagram. The DI is a DI connection of the Uh, one switch and uh, one light. So this is light and this is switch. So this is connection on the light and switch. So connection on light, light bar and the switch connection. You can see like this. So the electrical trade like this, in the trade like this, for the level uh, to trade, we explain about the uh, confinement, also the confinement system, also the cutting materials. We talking about the confinement. What is the confinement? What are the important aspects of the confinement? We explain about, and also the confinement are observer see working in the confinement we cover today. Uh, together with the profile space, we are also talking about the cutting materials. So that once we're controlling the one light system, we are talking about power supply CB system, we talk about, and also that we are talking about the body based uh, electric equipment, uh, we're talking about, and uh, body based power tool, we're talking about. So this is for the electric uh, trade by this for trade to students. And then we are talking about the electrical wash of too. This is the, we're talking about the electrical wash of prices too for the three ones today. The electrical trade prices we're talking about. Electrical engineer trade prices one. So this is a lesson for the electric engineer practice. So we are talking about the hand tools. The hand tools include the hammer. That this is what the feature of the engineer hammer. So the hammer here got the here is a handle wrench. Here is a uh, plain hammer. So in this case, uh, this is we call as a bobbin hammer. So so the, in when we are using a hammer, important is a never use a hammer with the loose head because uh, when the head is loose it will be coming up from the handle and they can hit the someone never try the hard metal if you use as a hammer do not try the hard metal because uh, it can also damage the head of the hammer so also we have to uh, wear the appropriate safety glass and a safety uh, glove and a safety glass because of the hammer for the impact this impact can hurt uh, your hand This is why uh, you have absorbed uh, any impact. So we had to wear the and uh, uh, to reduce the impact, you had to wear the uh, safety glove. So this is a uh, claw hammer. Claw hammer is a, the function of claw is to remove the nail. 
So that especially the carpenters are using the claw hammer to remove the head uh, nail. So here you got this a hammer head. So if you use as a soft with hammer, because sometimes you want to uh, do work, work on the copper or the brass, in this case, we are using a surface hammer. Here is a, we can talk about the uh, flat blade and also fillet head. Flat blade and the also fillet head are kind of the hammer. This is for the uh, screw driver. So screw driver, you got the flat blade and also the fillet head. Flat blade and the fillet head are the kind of the screw driver. The screw drivers are we widely utilized in the electric electric uh, engineering work, especially the uh, tools are the more uh, screw or to tighten the screw. So flat is uh, the, we can use for the flat uh, uh, screw and fillet head is uh, the star. So where for the star screw head, we have to utilize the fillet head screw to remove it. And sometimes we also need to utilize the spanner. The spanner functions are the spanners are being utilized to uh, tighten the knife and tighten the bow. Uh, bow and knife tighten it. We are using the spanner. So there are two kinds of the spanner. Open spanner and the ring spanner. So open spanner, this is the figure of the open spanner. This is the ring spanner. So this is the open, this is the ring. Some spanner got the open and a ring post so that you can use a both, uh, both side to uh, fix them and then remove the knot. So this is the function of the spanner. So here is a, we can use a tie. Those are the figure of the, you are using a tape. So this is a tap and tie diagram here. Then we also utilize the pipe wrench. The pipe wrench function is to fix the pipe. And also we are using this uh, uh, scoop plier. The plier got the two uh, plier. First one is a combination plier. The next one is a diagonal cutter. The so diagonal cutter is not only to utilize the, to uh, cut the any wire or anything, you can uh, use as a diagonal cutter to cut it. And also combination the plier is a, uh, to also the straight off the insulation from the wire. We are also using the combination plier. And also the electrician uh, uh, pliers are the also insulated because uh, sometimes we have to work on the electrical power line. In this case, uh, the insulation is a very important aspect. And also the multi grip pliers are the this include the wrench in the plier. The loudness pliers are also utilized. Uh, this is the loudness wire to, to uh, handle the small screw and the electronics uh, pieces. We are using the loudness plier. So those are the uh, application of the hand tools. Uh, we, I have already talked about the plier, screwdriver, hammer, and also the, in this case, uh, you have to do this uh, tutorial. Stay the uh, thread angle of the isometric thread. So this is a symmetric V shape. And uh, V has an angle 60 degree. Thread there is a 0 0.14 in loop multiplied by pitch. Also, we also write the operation steps for the drilling and the inserting the angle. So in this case, firstly, you have to drill the hole to the side and uh, the embedded uh, require and insert the angle into the to fix feature and hammer the screw into the angle body to expand. To remove, in this case, we have to utilize the press the free screwdriver firmly into screw, hatch, and there's a tank of the crosswire. So this is the how to uh, uh, utilize the drilling and the inserting the angle. Anchor. Here is a, a this diagram. Is a, we can use as a pipe wrench. The pipe wrench. Are, uh, if you are using the any uh, screw tapping, so here is a. If you want to uh, make the thread on the pipe, so thread is a hole by the uh, hole up, and then we use a tap and tie, and then we make the thread, making the thread. So after that, we talking about the joining techniques. So we are we have to utilize the fast the devices. In this case, we use the thread, bow, and nuts to fasten the devices. So there we also utilize a, here is a bow nut here. We use as a measure thread. So here we use a uh, washer, here is a bow and nut. So this is assembly of the bow nut and the washer assembly. 
Here is a metal thread. We call that cat screw and also set screw. Here is a nut. So nut is a this is we call it first one is a lock nut. Second one is a standard standard nut. So if you want to lock the something, we have to utilize the two nuts together. Lock nut function is to adjust the position of the nut. And standard nut is a to tighten the to uh, to tighten the nut. So also in the industry we also utilize the set tabling screw. Set tabling seven screws are the PIA Jamila white. This is to fix the any screw on the plaster bolt. And here is flat head and also masking head. They got the cowder sand and also the uh, bugger head. So they are kind of the uh, kind of the screw, flat head, mushroom head, cowder sand and the bugger heads are types of the cell tapping screw. Also, we are using the powder bag. Powder bag is a, we use the powder bag gun to, uh, uh, to make the rebellion on the wall. So we also utilize a nylon sub powder bag. Here is we use a rebelling gun. Rebelling gun, in this case, we fit the rebel into a rebelling gun and then we have to do that lever. We press a lever and then we get fixed uh, any rebel on the wall. So this is how we use that rebelling gun. Here is a, a lazy tone. And this is a rebel uh, circle and both and not are there for temporary fixing. But if you want to uh, fix it permanently, we either use a rebelling. Or the, we also use like a welding. Welding function is a fusion the method. So we have to fuse the method where the methods are being joined together. So in this case, one method is a, uh, making the fusion. So this one method is liquefy. So make the dye from the method. And then we, uh, we have to utilize and bind them together. So in this case, this is the welding method. So welding methods are that there are two kinds of the welding for the, uh, some more material, we have to utilize a solar method. So solar is a here you got an electro, here is electro, electro gun. So that we heat the ele electro by the solar ion. So the solar it will be the melt out and then it will go in onto the water surface. So this is the solar. Ring. And in this case, uh, we have to utilize as a deposit the metal on the welded metal. And here we use a welding. Welding method is a we have to utilize a welding machine. What the main function is, we grid the electrode and the high current is flow into the electrode so that the electrode will melt down because of the high current and then the electrode uh, metals, uh, materials will be the melt down and they pour into the wall piece. So this is we have to utilize a eh, welding transformer and electrode together. So the, the function is that the transformer function, the transformer provides the high electric current large enough to make the electric arc between the flux of the electrode and then the warp temperature. So warp temperature is the well, 6,000 degrees centigrade. Thoroughly is a process of the joining the metal together by means of the alloy method into the dry after the application at the suitable flux. So in this case, we have to utilize the appropriate suitable flux is utilized and also we melt down the uh, soda and then the soda will fill the uh, wall pieces. So this is one similar solar in higher. So here is a gas uh, welding uh, procedure. Gas welding procedure, we using the uh, oxytocin, uh, acetylene bottle and oxygen bottle together. So those are pilots are you uh, connected to the nozzle so that the combination of oxygen acetylene are the bun by using the fire and then this is a nozzle, nozzle head. If there's a fire is coming out, so fire will heat the uh, electro and then we can do the welding. So this is for the acetylene welding system. Here is a, a diagram of the pipe grip. So we can fit the pipe grip for the any tapping. And here is a, the student is doing the uh, tapping on the, uh, making the thread on the pipe. So this is for the, uh, we handle the uh, pipe by using the pipe wrench and we are also tanning and uh, we are making the thread. So this is the up to this stage that uh, we are talking about the basic handle regarding the uh, basic handle and regarding the, the basic washer function. Here is electric basic wiring system. Wiring system is this is for the LAN and also this is for the switch. So this is a TBS wire. So this is red is an active wire, black is a neutral wire and the green is the art wire. So we are um, connection of the electric 
uh, electricity what circuits and the lighting circuit. Then we also utilize the portable power tools. The power tools are safety is important aspect because before you using the any power tool, you need to wear the appropriate uh, protect this uh, equipment. So you also have to keep the work area tidy and also be aware of the high top rotating on the sun too, especially the sun cutting machine, sun uh, drilling machine, they are running at this uh, high rotating. So rotation of uh, moment is a uh, very important. So that high rotating thought has to be aware of. Don't lay down until they have stopped the rotation. And these are uh, hand tools you are utilizing, any hand tray or uh, grinder, you make sure you have to store the bowl equipment after that you can put on the floor. Otherwise, because of the high rotation, they will uh, jam and uh, it will hit the person. And also maintain uh, your balance, especially on the ladder. Sometimes you have to climb onto the ladder and you are on the height, uh, walking at the height. In this case, uh, you are trading while, while we are uh, standing on the ladder. In this case, you have to control uh, your body balance. Because uh, high rotation is a uh, threat, you will fall down. You will fall down from the ladder. So therefore, uh, when we are Walking on the ladder and you are any doing the drilling by using the your hand or power drill, you have to important to maintain your uh, balance. And when you are drilling and uh, the, the grinding the work piece, we have to squarely clamp it. Before you are grinding or the, you have to drill it someday, you have to squarely clamp by the vice or the any clamp. And otherwise, because of the high speeds are drilling, the the what we say we fly out and uh, it can help hurt you. So the all the electric uh, power two devices are utilizing the electric safety, electric electric safety. Therefore, the electric safety is important aspect. Always inspect the two before and after utilizing. Uh, we when the two has been test for the CV recently, and uh, check the condition of the cable before you are using. Lay out the electric cable so they are not tangible. Don't use the uh, electric cable when the ten when quite quiet. Also, you have to use the uh, leakage of protective device have to be utilized because the end is a uh, leakage to the electric tool. It can be a uh, it can do the short circuit uh, to you. <laughs> now we are using a leakage circuit with guy also you important aspect. Disconnect the let before using the adjustment. So this is one important aspect of the electric safety. Here is a di diagram of the grinding machine. So this is a hand grinder machine. So that when you are using the hand grinder, you have to wear the eye protection. Also, this is a straight grinder. A grinder got a different kind of grinder, straight grinder, angle grinder, tie grinder, center. The far function is to smooth the surface to remove the undesired metal parts. So they never put the excessive pressure on the wheel while you are grinding because of the it can damage the grinding wheel. Never grind the soft material. Here is a diagram of the drilling machine. So that we have to check the drill machine. You have to see the child capacity because the child need to hold the, your drill head, drilling bit. So that the child must be the appropriate for the, your drilling bit. It's an important aspect. Here is a, we can utilize the circular saw. Circular saw that we have to utilize for the cutting. If you want to cut this uh, timber cutting, we are using the circular saw. So in this case, the timber cut with the circular saw should be uh, where the uh, supported by the uh, grinding machine. So the timber need to be the properly uh, uh, secured on the your your support, and then we have to uh, cut the uh, timber by using the circular saw. Here is shearing machine. So the function is uh, cutting the any snipping and this is nigga is uh, to cut the sheet metal. So a function of the your uh, hand tools and the power tool. So hand tools and power tools are especially utilized for the electric uh, workshop to cut the sheet metal, to cut the material. So here is diagram of the uh, your electric gas uh, workshop. So this is electric gas uh, switch and also the Electricity ceiling rolls, they are diag uh, connection diagram. So those people are doing the electric gas work. And also the 
we also utilize the measuring equipment. So measuring equipments are widely utilized in the electrical workshop. So we use a clip bar, marking. So clip bar, they are punching out the marking off. And this is for the, and also we are utilize, utilizing the punch. So in this case, punching, uh, you have to mark it, or the, you are using a uh, sky bar, sky bar, uh, making the mark, and here is surface gate. In the meantime, you also need to uh, do the sometimes a uh, cutting, so you are using a hacksaw. This is hacksaw blade, so we use a TBI. And we also use a chisel. The chisel is uh, to cut the sheet metal by using a chisel. And also we are using a file. Filing machine, you have to cut the uh, metal by filing, or we are smoothing the metal pieces by filing. And so here we use a chaser head. The chaser head punching. Do are the chasers are punching to making the cutting. So this is for the diagram of the pie. Pie also we are using the we use it together. So we use a chisel, so chisel angle. So this is for the A, a is we call the break angle, uh, B is a cutting angle and C is a clearance angle. When you are using this chisel, there should be the angle like this. So A is a uh, break angle and B is a cutting angle and C is a clearance angle. So if you put the one ounce angle, it will not be affected. So uh, after that, you have to do the warp piece. So we have to cut the warp piece and we have to use a chaser and the cutter. You have to cut the dead warp piece. Then you have to punch the hole. Punch the hole by using the chasers and the hammer. So we are talking about the consumer may and the maximum demand. Now we're talking about so this is about the final sasaki, smoke data connection, uh, electric circuit connection, we can connect that. So the other this case are uh, we install about the electric uh, engineer clip like this. We install the uh, smoke data system. So I explain about the smoke data system today. Then we also talking about the electric engineer, wash your brightness. Wash your brightness three. So in this case, uh, we are also talking about the electric shock. I felt the electric socket. Working with the electricity. So in this case, we have to consult by psychological effect of the electric current. When, when you are you working on the VR the electric current, so in this case, uh, what happens is that uh, when the power switch is high, it can cause the excitation. The excitation and the confusion of molecule can happen because the electric, uh, uh, electric radiation is uh, too much, so the that radiation will excite the electron flow, and then because of the high current flow, the mass waves are confused. And also, passing of the electric current can also happen, and electric band and the uh, arrest of the heart, and also injury that can happen. So, this is for the important aspect. The touch voltage is a level appropriately, so you have to determine. So, in this case, uh, there are two kinds of the content. Direct contact is a you directly contact to the ground and light wire. This is the direct contact. In direct contact is a, uh, for example, this motor is supplied by the electric supply. But the this motor is a electric current is a leak from the, the wire to the motor body, the iron body. If you touch the motor body, it is a indirect contact. You cannot, you do not uh, directly uh, touch the electric wire, but instead electric wire is a leak to the motor metallic body. And then you touch in the modern metallic body, this is the indirect contact. Contact with the uh, connected part, there is not normally light, but it becomes a light under the poor condition because of the insulation 
is religion failure or some other causes. This is the indirect context happen. So therefore, the, we have to be uh, made sure. Important aspect of the direct and indirect context has to be confirmed. This has to be known. So the, in this case, the effect of this uh, electric current depending on the amount of the short current and nature and direction of electric current and the direction of the through the body, which are uh, electric current from where to where are passing through. This is for the important also aspect. And also the, uh, we also have to know about the resistance of the body. So the body resistance, amount of the current and the amount of the energy passing through the body, they determine the effect of the electric current. So the effect of the electric shock, in this case, our nerves are immobilizing can happen, fibrillation can happen, tissue dysfunction can happen. Electric shock is accompanied by the blue chairs of PRC and the deadening of the pain and also the anti-additional uh, contraction of the mass associated with the pass of the current they have been like this. So the electric current or the electric shock, they claim they are able to uh, release a conductive wire. When you are uh, electric tube, you cannot, uh, you get the electrical wire, it's difficult for you to release uh, your electrical wire. So in this case, current will flow in, the virus will pass and can die. If the person has a touch of light wire, Without the clenching, the muscle will pass the back and the legs may be the, uh, contracted the harshly so that the person is uh, unwillingly to the, the back one. So this is the effect of the electric current can happen. That may associate, may also occur as a result of the current flowing through the respiratory uh, control uh, center of the general uh, nerve system of the person. That is uh, usually uh, caused by the direct uh, interference with the action of the heart ventricular fabrication, electric shock can cause a fear. In this case, a heart attack can also happen. So in this case, our electrical current, body resistance is very influenced on the electrical current that pass through. The resistance of the body from the hand to hand or the hand to foot is a very well. Depending on the area of the electrical context, whether the area is dry or wet, the electric current of the body resistance is changing. Body resistance, uh, there's a the touch body 25 volt is a 17502 uh, C1000. Dry condition, body resistance is higher, but the sun resistance of the body is a less than the body. So this is the things are uh, uh, body resistance. So in this case, uh, we have to know about the uh, short current range. In this case, current range is a uh, 100 milli and we are doing uh, 1000 milli and I say it can cause the depreparation, tissue binding, fabrication and cardiac reaction, so it can cause a death. And for the 75 milli MBR, it can cause the res respirations are stopped, and also the arm will be paralyzed, breathing difficulty, and the grip can happen. And up to 50 milli MBR, unable, unbearable pain, pain, and a mysling, and special possession, so those are uh, how the electric current impact on the body. So the 15 to 17 may uh, and the milli and the electric current. So in this case, are uh, extremely difficult to release a conductor held in the hand. So that because of the low conductor, the electrical current passing through, it can or the binding on the body. Point of the contact, how the electrical band is uh, band the point of the contact, and also the is it bandings are uh, local white skin and deep reaching to the bone can happen like this. High voltage uh, flash overs are the very extensive bunny and the hard loops and the can happen like this. So in this case, uh, we also have to know about the radiation band. Radiation band is uh, although you are do not touch the electricity by the directly because the electric current radiation or can also burn in the body. Radiation band is uh, similar to this uh, uh, skin band from the sensitivity of the art band from the vaporizer metal. High voltage are allowing the four current to flow with the uh, impunity into the body, causing the contact band punching through the layer of the skin, that's why the tissue below. So the most electric shots are can occur uh, between the two, two the level to the 400 volt can cause in the most electric shock. So that sometimes uh, we found the electric accident happen. You got electric are they, they die by the electric accident. So the cause of the electric accidents are the ACE4 light terminate. If you touch with the ACE4 light terminate, you can suffer the electric shock. And also the terminate or the conductor being light under the different conditions or the operation of the equipment, 
blues or the disco that the least are uh, becoming alive. And the test equipment called that in the police are closer to electrician. Test equipment being the uh, wrong class for the task uh, in educate for the test. Why this is also important aspect. In college are uh, poorly made in the testing equipment uh, the cost of the electrical short circuit. And the uh, integrate knowledge of the equipment or the cost of fault. Equipment located in the hazardous area and are working low on the light equipment. They are the danger and risk caused to the electric uh, accident. Therefore, the, we also have to know about this uh, protective device. To protect the electric uh, the short, we have to utilize a protective device. In this case, we use a four pew and a socket breaker have to utilize, and also the protection of the four and uh, socket at the four condition also important. Also, we have to pre prevent the madden or the madden down of the conductor it need to be protected and treat all the socket uh, under the sapping hazard of white four condition. We need to treat all the socket. Two is a designated to the open the socket when the predetermined is of the current flow. In this case, fuse should be operated. Rewiring the fuse are no longer allowed to be installed in the new installation. All the new installation, we must install a circuit breaker. Separate extra low voltage also important aspect. is a no more than the 50 volt AC or the 120 volts are DC, river free DC. Circuits are the designated to remain under the safe voltage level. So this is about how to prove the a short circuit protection. In this case, we utilize a residential residual circuit protection. This is US current device, so this is the RCD. So this is the for on a residual current device. So it immediately is a trip of the electric supply in the event of the current leak to the arcs. There's a need to trip with the leakage current of 30 milliampere and operate it with the 10 to 50 microseconds. So this is about the residual current device as an operation. So then we have to start isolate the electric supply. We have to work in on the light circuit, it can cause a danger. It can cause an electric shock, it's electrical flash over can happen, short circuits uh, can happen. So the consequence of the electrical accidents are uh, electrical cushion, severe burn, fall from the high and the fire and explosion can happen. So therefore, the, we have to some motor protection and these are uh, electrical equipment uh, to be worked, uh, to be uh, we have to utilize the isolated by the removing the fuse, uh, switching on the circuit, pressing the emergency short switch switch all the control switch and remove their contact circuit. This is the way how to uh, remove it. Now when the performing the electrical wall and equipment, in this case, uh, you have to uh, utilize a, uh, a switch all important and also remove and uh, isolate and take a take out procedure. Take out procedure after you disconnect the supply on the main circuit, you have to lock it and also you have to handle take out uh, important uh, uh, side signature is important. So that, therefore, that we are talking about the correct uh, isolation uh, procedure. Correct isolation procedure is all equipment must be tested for the uh, trust. Test your equipment before and after you. So before you are uh, testing, uh, before and after you, you have to test uh, your test equipment. You also have to follow the correct isolation procedure. Test voltage tests are to confirm the correct operation. You also identify the circuit to be Work on at the point on the supply is also important. At the stable, you have to uh, test a circuit breaker. Okay. So appropriate that take out and lock out uh, need to be uh, utilized. So the in this case, uh, take out and lock out procedure is that we have to uh, isolate the circuit, and then uh, we have to use the circuit breaker. We have to uh, put this uh, and this uh, wedge. We have to remove it, and at the point on the wall, in this case, we have to utilize a uh, appropriate side. And also now you need to key. So the test, log out, take out, and then you have to test gate. So this is the take out and log out procedure. So to uh, protect the electrical circuits are uh, causing the fault, we have to uh, utilize the other system. All the external uh, metals are casing all the electrical equipment, give a connector must be added to prevent the electrical uh, metal rising to the dangerous uh, voting level. So this is for the how the electrical current is uh, connected. So this is neutral, this is up. So the gateway is uh, this is main switch and connect to circuit breaker, electric uh, equipment. So we are neutral link, this is R link. So the all equipment connected to the R conductor, R link. So neutral as it connected, and then from the R link connected to main R electrode. 
So this is the way, this is the MES or RTN system. So that kind of the uh, protection system has to be utilized. So in this case, uh, we also have to utilize the electric equipment uh, uh, to be, what must be the isolated. So you have to remove the fuse, switching all the circuit breaker, pressing the MRCD straw switch, switch off the control switch, remove the contact of the point of connection. So when the power point of electric work on the supply equipment, in this case, you have to switch or remove the isolate, take out a, a lot of must be utilized. So this is the way it's uh, take out a lot of use to utilize. Okay, so this is our electric trick. We explain about the electric uh, contest uh, circuit breaker and fork rotation and working with the electricity, we explain about. Then uh, we are talking about the uh, diploma, advanced diploma. So we do the thing. Australian connected and also the electric and electronic resources. Then we find the a diploma. I want diploma in electric engineering. Electric Diploma 2022. Click it. Then go down. Uh, we're talking about the video lesson. We do video lesson, we click it. Then we find out the lesson. So lessons are last week that we have already printed at G48. So today's are we do the advanced engineering mathematics. So the if I'm a teacher in mathematics, you have to use the link is a video lesson, page 26 to 50. So this is the link here. The note, video lesson. Page 26 to 50. So just open. Video, E26. E026. Okay, for the electric diploma, so you have to go to the website. If you don't enjoy the college talk with select electric diploma 2022 dot HTM, this website. And other the websites that we have to go, go down and you have to find this uh, video lesson, YouTube video lesson for electric engineer. So this one. So the this video lesson. Last week uh, we have already finished the uh, E0 uh, E26. So video five finished. So two days uh, we had to start the uh, videos are uh, six. Multiple integrate. So this one is a so the lesson notes are here. So this, you download the highlight computer document slide video lesson dot PDF. 
and then you have to look at that space conditions in Sydney. So this is a written note for the video. So this video are here. We start there, multi bay integral. The way Mitchell and Joey Manu come face to face for the first time since that ugly high shot last year sparks a certain to fly. He's quite a uh, special guy, Joey. He's really clear on what matters. So, this is the market. You have to find the volume and reason. I have to find the parabolic cylinder. Then you have to form an A square. Play that a zero y zero y c and z. So the this equation, then you go to formula a square. Then let me is the start from zero. So when you put the z zero, so the z is equal to formula a square to zero equal to the formula a square. A square is equal to a is the plus or minus b. The b is the start from the a minus two to two. Y value is the zero to c. Z value is the zero to formula a square. So we write down the equation here. Integration. In this case, uh, this limit is uh, minus two to two, but we don't uh, we don't go down more than minus two because of the we don't want to find the area between the a zero and the a two. So the h limit is uh, zero to two. Integration is zero to two. Y limit is uh, zero to c. Z limit is uh, zero to four minus a square. S z d z d y and h. This is the multiple integral. So that in the place of the f that we substitute four minus a square d y d a. So the y limit is zero to six, a limit is zero to two. So that this is that integration differentiation that the cancel. So here you got the y. So a limit zero to the two, four minus a square y limit zero to six d a. So that we substitute the six here. So the integration is a zero to two, c and four minus a square d a. So that will be the uh, integration is 0 to 24 in dA minus integration C squared dA. So you integrate this one and put the limit so you got the answer. Well, it's still a tall order, but the Aussies have given themselves a shot at winning the side of the test before. A speaking from the skipper. <laughs> So we multiply a cross b. So the determinant i is here, 110, 2 minus 3 and 1. So first we use the i. So this column into the i, this column into the i. So second like again, only this one you have to write. So the 1, 0, minus 3, 1. After the minus 3, this column and this row neglected, so the 1, 2, 0, 1 has to write. This is all the key, plus key. This column, these rules are neglected, so the 1, 1, 2, minus 3. So multiply this direction positive, this direction negative. So the 1 multiply 1, minus 3 multiply 2. So this direction multiply positive, so 1 multiply 1, this one will be negative, so minus 2 multiply 2. Plus K. This multiply, 1 multiply minus 3, this direction is 2 multiply 1. So finally, you call the same thing. I minus G minus 5. So this is the A plus A mark cross B. The whole thing, multiply it cross B. So the I, I minus G minus 5K and the 4J minus 3 are multiplied. So the I, J, K here. So I minus 1 minus 5. I minus 1 minus 5. So this is a no G, I. So the 0, J is a 4 and the K is a minus 3. Now, and Ivana plus and the differential equation. Given that plus in of the s by s square plus omega square is 
Sports Group Mugabe. And therefore, they level up in, in bar of say 4S by S squared plus 4. That will be the 4 multiplied, level up in bar, S divided by S squared plus 2 squared. So that will be the 4 cos 3. And similarly, level up in bar of say omega by S squared plus omega squared is by omega D. So then we can write down this formula here. So that plus n bar of the 3 by s squared plus 4, that will be the 3, that plus n bar, 1 divided by s squared plus 2 squared. So that will be the sum. In this case, here must be 2 to use the formula. But we don't have the 2, so we multiply it 2, divide by 2. So we put the 2 and divide by 2. For to use the formula, there must be 2, because this is a numerator. Numerator must be 2, denominator is the s squared plus 2 squared here. So if you can put the 2, you can use the sum. Sign formula. Uh, therefore, then we put the 2 here, divide by 2. So let's just put the 2, divide by 2. So 3 by 2, la plus n bar, 2 by s squared plus 2 squared. That will be the 3 by 2, sign 2 d. Then we substitute a formula. So this is the la plus n bar of the 4s minus 3 divided by s squared plus 4 is square to 4 cos 2d minus 3 by 2 sign 2 d. This is for the la plus transformer formula. And similarly, we write down, in this case, uh, this, this power. This power is an integer. Integer means that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we use as a whole formula. But this power can be as a fraction number. Fraction number means that half, 3 by 2, 5 by 2. In this case, we have to use this formula. So this formula is a double plus n power of the 1 by s is s power p is square root. t power p minus 1 divided by the gamma function of the p. So in this case, gamma function p we can use. We can write gamma function of high is the square root of pi, and gamma function of n plus 1 is square root n into gamma n. And therefore, the gamma function of the 3 by 2, what can you do is the 3 by 2 is similar to 1 plus half, so similar to the n plus 1 function. So then we then, if you see the gamma function of n plus 1, n into gamma n, similarly, gamma function of half plus 1 is square root half into gamma half. So the gamma half is square root of pi. So then, half into square root of pi. We use this gamma function and to find the Laplace uh, transform with that power, friction power. So that based on the this uh, equations, I will use this uh, solve this problem. We need to find the Laplace inverse of the four minus pi s divided by s power three by two. In this case, uh, s power three by two is a friction number. So then we have to use the definition. So in this case, uh, Laplace n bar 4 minus 5s minus s minus s power 3 by 2 can be separated. So then that will be the uh, Laplace n bar for, for the 4 divided by s power 3 by 2 minus 5s divided by s power 3 by 2. So then we use the 4 Laplace n bar 1 divided by s power 3 by 2. So then we use the same formula here. So in the place of the p, we can use the 3 by 2. So then we use the 4 into 3 power 3 by 2 minus 1. ดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีกันนะดีก
啊，微信的单单吧。Equation will go as a s square y minus 2 s plus 1 minus 3 s y plus 6 plus 2 y square 2 divided by s plus 1. So this is the time we write down the sort of one. So then this 2 y plus 7, uh, we only put the time s square y and 3 s y and 2 y. So that all the thing include the y we put at the left hand side and the times without y. We Shift to the right hand side. So what you call is the s square y minus 3 s y plus 2 y square 2 plus 2 by s plus 1 plus 2 s minus 7. So combine. Combine means the, uh, 2 plus uh, s plus 1 multiplied with 2 s minus 7. So we multiply. So what you call is the uh, left hand side. You uh, read away with the 2 plus 2 s square minus 7 s. Uh, Minus 7, so because of this 2s and this are multiplied to 2s and the 1 multiplied to 2s squared to 2s and minus 7 multiplied is a minus 7s, minus, minus 7 plus 1 with the minus 7. Let's have like this one, so the denominator here, so this one will be like this here. So then, right hand side, left hand side will be y, and right hand side will be the star, and this is the numerator, and this is the denominator. So this denominator, this one you can get a federalize. S square minus 3 s plus 2 you can federalize. S square minus 3 s plus 2 federalize. So s the s square is federalized so s into s plus 2 is a minus 2 into minus 2. So you make the cross multiplication. Minus 2 and s is a minus 2 s. Minus 1 into s multiply minus 1 s. So minus 1 s and minus 2 s. You edge to the middle time you call the thing is a minus 3 s. So therefore the will get federalized. S minus 2 and s minus 1. So the uh, this denominator will be there, s minus 2, s minus 1, s plus 1. So this one we can write a common factor. So that a by s minus 2, a by s minus 2, plus b by s minus 1, plus c by s plus 1. So this is the right hand side. So the left hand side, b, you can uh, uh, represent by the right hand side. So this one you made a combine. So then s minus 1 and s plus 1 multiplied with a. And s minus 2 and then s plus 1 multiplied with b. s minus 2 and s minus 1 multiplied with c. So this one we call it b. So then b do s minus 1 multiply s plus 1 plus b. s minus 2 multiply s plus 1 plus c. do s minus 2 multiply s minus 1. This is what is the right hand side. The left hand side is this. Two s squared minus two s squared. 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 So here you got that all the A and C ABC value, so seven divided by three, divided by S minus two, plus four divided by S minus one, plus one divided by S minus one, find the eval Laplace. So the minus seven by three divided by S minus two will be there, minus seven by three divided by two T. And four divided by S minus one, eval Laplace will be there, so it do, eval T. And one third divided by S plus one, eval Laplace will be one third into eval minus T. So this is the answer for the Laplace transform. So we can utilize the Laplace transform to solve the differential equation. Similarly, the electric the problem, we can use a similar method. So this
use it for the Laplace transform. We utilize the Laplace transform to solve the electric field problem. So if the system of the R equal to KO and in the round the A equal to two energy and battery of the E volts are connected in C S at D equal to zero, the switch closes. Switch closes and the time of the D equal to zero. Initially this wire moment and then at the time D zero wire moment. The current is the I equal to zero because of the test switch is what the moment before. So no current can pass through because the switch is off so the initial current I is zero. So you have to find the current for the after switch is off you have to find the current. So supply voltage for the whole. So this is for the supply voltage E. In data and resistor are connected in series. So the circuit current will be the I. You write down the to the voltage. So the body E is going to the body draw across the inner dark and the body across the resistor. Body across the inner dark with the A D M D. Body across the resistor with the I R. A D M D plus I R is going to be E. So in this case, A is an internal value two hundred E D M D D. Got it I resistor is there. So then this will become a D M D D plus five I is going to be. Two D M D D plus ten I is going to forty. So the D M D D plus five is going to be twenty. So the D M D D will be the I S plus five is going to twenty. So we have to find the Laplace transform. Laplace transform I S plus five I. The hence why the hence why we use the Laplace transform the twenty. So the I S this is for the first order derivative. That will be the S I S minus I zero. Five I will be the five I S. So Laplace transform twenty will be the twenty divided by S. So initial current is zero when the switch is off. Then go there. In the place of the I zero, we put the zero. So what you call is the S in I S plus phi I S equal to twenty. So the I S multiply. So S plus phi is equal to twenty by S. So the I S is equal to twenty by S into S plus phi. So this twenty divided by S multiply S plus phi. Then these are written the beta. Then we say A by S. Plus B by S plus five, so we make the cross multiplication. The S plus five multiplied by A, so A into S plus five. S multiplied by B into B into S. So then we get a A into S plus five plus B into A is equal to twenty. So we substitute S equal to minus five. So A just a B R, B is a minus four. So S becomes zero. So in this case, ah, B just a B R and A is equal to four. So then we get a four by S plus minus four by S plus five. So we find the inverse plus. If I apply the four by S with the four E, if I apply the minus four by S plus five with E, the minus E power minus five. So this is the equation current I. The current I, after switch has been closed, the current will follow that this equation. You don't have any calculations. So based on the Laplace transform problem, it's a bit. You have to study your set. So topic A nine, eleven, and twelve. So A is a Laplace transform. So you study the slide one to thirteen and see the orders are written on the fiber and the audio file and solve the problem that you do to study five. Topic nine, in Laplace, so slide one to six, problem that you want. Topic eleven, gamma function Laplace transform. So slide one to and problem that you do to study five. And topic squared, Laplace transform in differential equation. So scale to the slide one to fourteen and problem problem that that is C and that is seven. And those are the sub fathers are eleven, online eleven, and the exercise for the Laplace transform. Oh, you know, check here, ah, camera action. So when I do put it at one chair, ah, so when I do one, I move, 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 move. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to move my mind. Hmm. Two hours only. Yeah. Eight. 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 Okay, you realize in the matrix. Ma la, mi pensai che mi pensai. 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 Column A the is column one is the A one one A two one A three one column two is the A one two A two two A three two 
and column 3 will be A13, A23, and A33. This is the row and column. So the first three that you can add and subtract. So in this case, uh, this value is uh, so one column one value that A need to be add or subtract with the row one column one value of the B. Similarly, the row one column two value of the A need to be add or subtract with row one column two value of the B. Similarly, the row one column three value of the A can be add or subtract with the B. So one column three value of the B. So therefore the A plus B will be the sum. Two plus three and one plus minus five four plus one. Minus three plus two zero plus one two plus three. So by solving this one, sir, you got the thing say five minus four five and minus one five. And four A minus B. Two minus three. One minus minus five, four minus one. Minus three, minus two, zero minus one, two minus three. Therefore, the a minus b is four. And this is the triple. Triple means the row and column chain. So row one value are the two one four. That will be column one value. So the two one four row one will be column one two one four. Row two value minus three zero two will be the column two minus three zero and three. So then. We use a metric to solve the uh, uh, equation with the many subjects. Uh, for example, uh, A11, H1, A12, H2, R2, A1, H, and H1, H1, H2, 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 H
Then I can multiply with the fourth thing. Then I can negative. So the one multiplied by two, minus four multiplied by three. This must multiply direction with the fourth thing. The one with the negative. One multiplied by one, minus two multiplied by three. And all together, we call the study part. So this is for the determinant of the metric. Trace of the metric means that you only write the telephone name. So this metrics are 5, 2, 0, 3, 1, minus 2, minus 1, 4, minus 1, 4, 2. So this will be a diagonal. If you add the all diagonal value, then we the 5 plus 1 plus 2. This is the trace of the metric. Metric. Go further means that for the 5, go further on the 5, neglect the all row and all column. Entry. The pass to the 5. So the this is that this row, this the whole rows are biting through the five, need to be neglect. And this column, the whole column, pass through the five, need to be neglect. So only one we set is uh, two minus one, one zero, four minus two, and three, two, one. So that way we just have the cofactor of the five is two, one, four, minus one, zero, minus two, three, two, one. The whole contest on the, the whole row, contest on the, the whole column, that are passing through the Five need to be neglected, only right there, other thing. So this is the cofactor. Okay, so we want to solve the following equation by using the metric like this. The equation are given that 3 is 1 minus 2 is 2 plus 3. So then, is 1 plus 2 is 2 minus 2 is 3 is minus 1. 4 is 1 plus is 2 plus 2 is 3 is 3. So firstly, we write down the metric. So then, 3 minus 2 2, 1, 2 minus 2, 4, 1, 2. So H1, H2, H3, right hand side is the metric of the 10 minus 1 and 3. So that when you want the H1, H2, H3, this one, the whole thing has to be divided. So that will be the 10 minus 1, 3, and the inverse metric of the 3 minus 2, 2, 1, 2, minus 2, 4, 1, 2. So that this metric, 3 minus 2, 2, 1, 2, minus 2, and 4, 1, 2, we can write as a A. So A inverse is equal to A, J, K, T. Divided by determinant. So this is the AJK the transform metric divided by determinant of the metric A. So the I will explain later about the AJK transform metric. Firstly, I will solve the determinant of A. So determinant of A is equal to determinant of 3 minus 2, 2, 1, 2, minus 2, 4, 1, 2. So you take 3, the whole row and the whole columns are neglected, so that you only write out 2 minus 2, 1, 2. And minus two. So this is the first is a positive, second will be a negative. Negative minus two. So the whole row, the whole corner, negative, negative, only the one minus two, four to right. One minus two. And positive two. This positive the whole corner, the whole row neglect. One, two, four, one, right. One, two, four, one. Then multiplying this direction with positive, the one will be negative. Also the this one multiply positive. That direction multiplying the negative. So the this one positive, two multiplied two, and this one negative. Minus one, minus one, one is minus two. And that direction multiplication positive, one multiplied two, minus the third direction. So four multiplied minus two. Here, that direction multiplication positive. So this is the one into one, and that direction with the negative. So four into two. One into one and four into two. So that will be the so that will be the we we got the metric. So this is called the one into two multiplied four into minus two, and this one with the one into one multiplied four into two. So this one is the negative. So that will be the we saw that this one finally we got the study. Okay, now we write down the covalent metric. So, A J K covalent metric is A one one, A one two, A one three, A two one, A two two, A two three, A three one, A three two, A three three. We have already calculated the A one one, A one two, A one three value. So you substitute here. So the that will be seven minus fourteen minus seven, six minus two minus eleven, two eleven eight. This is the row one. This is the row two. This is the row three. Then you have to transpose. Transpose means A J K transpose A J K T. 
Row one, we can take one. Row two, we can take one. Two. Row three, we can take one. Three. This row one, we can take one. One. Row one seven minus fourteen. Seven minus seven. We can take seven minus fourteen. Minus seven at the one. Row two six minus two minus eleven. We can take one. Two six minus two minus eleven. Row three two eleven eight. We can take one. Three two eleven eight. So this is the EGK transpose. A by is EGK transpose over here. Determinant A. So yeah, this is the numerator of the EGK transpose. Determinant A we already calculated before. So then this is the five. So then the entries are divided. So this is the A in bar. So take A in bar and the right hand side values are 10 minus 1, 3 values are multiplied. So then this and this multiply. This and this multiply, this and this multiply, add together. This and this multiply, this and this multiply, this and this multiply. This and this multiply. So 7, 5, 35, multiply 10, 6, 5, 35, multiply minus 1, 2, 5, 35, multiply 3, and 10, 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 and so, usually these are metrics that we utilize. So, oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so the computer phone yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't know the yeah, yeah, yeah. that only the computer can do the things that are programmed by the people, the program and the human. So this is the this step by step program is a we are all the time. Every the equation will be yeah, different, yeah, yeah. but you can utilize the same method. The first three what we do is you find the computer metric, we will find it the the determinant metric we transpose and multiply row and then we call the answer. So this method is a, a general method to solve any kind of the equation, any number of the unknown equation by the computerized method. So the metric solution is utilized to implement the computer solution for the three separate unknown equation. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. So this is a so this is for the dismantling and the assembly. Dismantling and assembly method. So that when you dismantle there's some assembly, we have to utilize a template. How to start dismantle so that This is emblem you have to utilize. So in this case, you have to remove the plate, cover from the motor. We use a free puller or a tension wrench, spanner, screwdriver, and heating equipment, free luggage have to utilize. So this is for the free puller connection. This is the wrench to remove the nut. In this case, I will also utilize a screwdriver to remove the screw, the solvent, and then we have to clean the agent to remove the garage, grease and the dust. Heating equipment, uh, we use the torch to expand the metal to give it enough clearance. Filar grid are uh, utilized to measure the clearance, so this is a filar based on uh, utilization. Similarly, we are using the electro machine. Electrical machine must be uh, truly cleaned before dismantling or the reassembled to ensure that the good electrical content uh, between the maiden surface or the moving and station part. So this is the common brush that we have to make from the data, we have to utilize the electro cleaner. Short circuit will not occur between the insulation component and the arc. Damage to insulation or electric conductor can happen. So that we have to uh, fire hazard can happen and then affect the more plastic, affect the more plastic component. So cleaning methods of the electrical machine needs a large and deposit need to be cleaned by the 
scraping of the wire brush on the mice open and by using a cruising and also the blue internet resistant they will utilize a compressed air a little uh, electro, electric and maiden survey we had to utilize a compressed air solvent so all the way we need to wear the appropriate safety goggle and also the after cleaning we had to inspect the water to determine the uh, removable item or we also need to remove the component and uh, also on the shelf we have to ch check the exit or the flow, uh, flow of the machine also the model plate so this is the ways of how to dismantle the model and the what are the important requirements so this is the one year clip bar and uh, this is one year clip bar to measure the basic measurement this is the micrometer and uh, to do this a uh, low tolerance of measurement here is a wire gate to measure the gate on the wire so vanilla clipper is a we can utilize this equation main scale and the vanilla scale so the main scale and vanilla scale so main scale plus a vanilla scale or uh, indication in line with the main scale multiplying point zero two this is the vanilla meter rating micrometer is a main scale plus a micrometer scale so number scale number scale we also call Number scale in line with the horizontal multiplying point zero one. So this is what the vanilla clipper connection. So in this case, uh, we utilize the vanilla clipper diameter of the white box uh, marker and also depth of the white box marker K. And we are going to need the thickness, we have to measure thickness of the shim meter. Micrometer are the we utilize to measure the diameter of the uh, white box marker and also the thickness of the a shim meter and the thickness we apply. So those are the exercise regarding the how to uh, test it. So this is the appropriate uh, you form of the measure the diameter and the thickness by using the micrometer. So then we also have to talk about the dismantling. When you do dismantling, we have to utilize a cleaning. We have to call it the required two equipment. We also have to follow the dismantling techniques. We measurement of the original assembly had to be followed. We had to take the appropriate mechanical data on the land, get clearance of the machine. So we use a ruler to measure the land. We had to strive out, we measure the diameter test, micrometer, we measure the diameter, and feel again, we measure the gap. Original school nut had to be uh, for, take care of. Also, they take the nameplate data of the machine, alignment of component. Also, we have to take the photo of the component assembly. Those are the default dismantling, those things you have to take a data. So in this case here, you see that the type of the technology that this is the, the end the end flow. We have to measure, in this case, we have a new to measure. And also die indicator is that you measure the, the alignment of the machine. So the, uh, we're going to put the shot to the machine and then use a ruler to measure the flow and the port to from the end. And then also put a shot on what? Our, and then you also measure the, how far the shot and the portals are and are shield and also we have to document the uh, appropriate uh, excess uh, flow thing have to be measured. Airflow is a use the appropriate field like to determine the airflow and you have to use a class uh, uh, meter to measure the shot building are uh, have to utilize. So this is for the airflow measurement and this is the die indicator measurement we utilize. Put the shaft into machine and use a ruler to measure the how uh, how far the shaft go through from the end sheet. Also pull the shaft outward and then measure how far the shaft go through from the end sheet. We do different then um, document the different of the AC flow. So end flow is a user probably feel like to determine the end flow. We do clean cola to the shaft and the motor shaft. So here we, we utilize a marking of the end blade. Before you are, you are uh, dismantling, you have to measure the market. Put the marking on the emblem you have to uh, utilize. Marking on the emblem, so that on the emblem you have to mark out. So emblem body, you have to put the mark, appropriate mark have to utilize, also screw nut. So this is the important to take the mark before removing the emblem from the body. When they're refilling the mark on the body, the emblem must be exactly alive so that the screw and nut can be fitted. Here is that you can see that uh, uh, check the entry around the shaft for the bearing retainer screw. It present the remote these. And the parts are most clean and the inspect them for the damage. 
Please say in the three or the container in the logical order so that they can be identified and reassembled. So the main scan and the photo of the assembly. So here is the location of the appropriate photo of the site of the nap have been measured, appropriate indicator have been utilized, appropriate how the nap have been taken out logical order. They take out the nap, take out the boat, take out the cat. So this is the uh, first, now have you take out and both have to take out, get have to take out. So in this case, I'm going to put into an appropriate tray. Three wine that you put the nut, three to both and put, uh, both and the three three that we have to put the cap. So this is the appropriate logical error we have to put the uh, dismantles are component. So the assembly and dismantling is also important aspect. So that we have to loosen the edit screw holding and the dry end. She loosen and these are screw holding the dry end and she do the model frame. Do an NC so that use a saw that they are drip and a saw face are mallet so it's assigned not to damage a cast iron sheet. You also look around and loose an NC. You can start safely remove it or not. It's also the clear and the obstruction. Then remove the screw and the carefully remove the NC. So this is for the DC machine. We can remove the NC. The eye shot, this is an army chart. So the on the NC, there may be the brush holder or centrifugal switch. They are uh, installed. So that you they need to be the careful with the mode. In this case, electric connection. Before the mobile, you have to know the electric connection before. So in this case, I will also utilize the, the moment that uh, pairing. So this is outer race, this is ball in our race, so this is the uh, it's got configuration of bearings. So this bear, this is outer race. So you have to apply the force to the inner race, remove the face or the pushes the race pass, the only watch the bearing is not at the seat time. And also the blow dry with the uh, compressed air. Do not allow the bearing race to spin. This will damage the bearing track and not to damage the bearing survey also in blow. So this is the age blow view of the Electric data generator. We have to take out so you can see that uh, those are views, so a component of the electric generator army chart. So we have to draw the edge flow view of the machine. When you are disconnected, this matter you have to draw this edge flow view. So this is the edge flow view. So we have to reassemble. In this case, you have to measure the appropriate uh, uh, quite span of the model. You have to measure when you reassemble. Reassembly usually follow the removal, reverse process on the removal of uh, bearing gasket C. So we have to install a bearing, roller bearing, and removing a race. And then also the stationary ring is a, a light push out. So do not take this a new bearing from the ASA pack. Uh, and also the any gasket C spacer has to be appropriate as pretty important. So this is for the ASA view. So when you are this uh, reassembly, we have to follow the appropriate uh, uh, reverse process on the H blow view. So that these are the two had required for the dismantle. So you will when the rest, spanner, wheel puller, screwdriver, hammer, uh, filler gate, ruler, screwdriver, micrometer, vanilla, and other cleaning equipment. Why must we use a clean electrical model? So in this case, uh, to clearly see the assembly component or to uh, easily remove the component. These two ways of which we have you to uh, remember how to reassemble the model which you have just dismantled. So in this case, we have to draw the logic data storage or equipment. Also, we have to utilize it, follow the H flow view. Why must a model has a same uh, exam flow and how can you mesh, uh, measure? So in this case, probe rotating the shot without jamming. So in this case, pushing the shot into the machine and then use a ruler to measure the uh, end, how far from the shot, and also the pull the shot over and the measure. And then you have to measure the different than the two measurements. How do I apply the what isolations are? Location, do I wish to mark the model before I uh, dismantle it? So, in this case, you have to check the model frame and the entry for the location of the uh, winner marks and use a 
to get sent to, to get sent up pass to make winner mask to the NC at the dry end and also they will do the push the winner mask in the frame. What is the process of the reassembly machine? Reassembly machines are follow the reverse or the, the explode view. So any uh, casket, C spacer uh, need to be uh, correct type and the sun might side uh, the must go the correct supposition. And also the proper type you know that's really important on the assembly, make sure the window must uh, must be realized. So this is the reassemble of the um, machinery. So this is for the electric trade two, uh, trade one. We today I explain about the dismantling and the reassembling of the electric equipment. Then we talking about the diploma. So the electric diploma. Drawing and the interpretation and the sketching. So the, the purpose of the drawing is that we have to do the communications between the people involved in the project. We can do the discussion and development of idea and the theories and also the decision. Also that we call the record given for the future development. In this case, I will utilize the AS1100 92 edition. This is about 10 year growing and general principle. AS1101 graphics simple for the engineer general uh, engineering AS uh, and then as a 1102 graphic is simple for the electro technology here is a type of the line this is a thick line this is a thin line and this is the view a this is view b so view a uh, you can see this one view b you can see this one here is a dotted line of the uh, thin line so thin line is a hidden line this is also the end plate we can also uh, draw like this so the brake line are uh, this is brake line here is a brake line, both B brake line, see the thin brake line. Brake line is a we can draw by this way. We are, we cut a section, so this is a section diagram. So from the AH view, we cut the section, so this is the cut the pieces. So this diagram, you can see what a this diagram is, a, we can see the type of the diagram. We can see there's a difference of C's. You see the block from the A view, B view, C view, you can see the diagram like this. So this is the diagram of the electric switch, electric switch outlet. We, so this is for the rear side diagram, rear con connection diagram. So this is this is rear connection uh, switch bolt, and we can draw the block diagram like this. So this is the rear connection connection of the electric switch. So the autographic projection. This is the autographic uh, isometric. Uh, Autographic projection so that this is the isometric view, three dimension view. You see the view A, view B, you see, you can see diagram like this. Also, the D diagram, you can see the AH view. We cut in the AH, you can see the diagram like this. So that this one is a you have to do the practice. So, this diagram, you can see the three dimension so that you can see the view ABC, you can see like this. So, A side here, A from the B, you can see B and C side like this. Also, that this diagram, also you can see the B. So, this is a B from the A, you can see like this, and C, you can see like this. So, also this one, also the three dimension. So, you can see that from the B, you can see like this. From the A, you see like this, the C, you can see like this. So, this is the uh, we have view of the isometric view of the different view. So, this one, you can see the A, B, C. From the A side, you can see like this. This is a B, you can see like this. From the C, you can see like this. So this is the three dimensions of from the A, A view you can see like this, from the B you can see like this, from the C you can see like this. So then we have to do that as a side on this diagram. So this is what I drawing uh, A4 sheet, A4 sheet dimension A3, uh, A2, A, A0 to the A4, the dimension you can draw like this. Also the we also use as our uh, uh, information on drawing, so we have to um, include the company name, on our drawing, pan name, items or the pan number and drawing number need to be utilized. So she number, she side, and scale of the drawing, projection, cyborg, 
finish general survey, finish required on the part and general dollars and the drop person in the share, drop person who check the drawing, they are drawn and they are issued, don't need to be signed, included in the drawing. And then uh, we also continue the diploma. So this is for the planning of the material. So safety in the workshop. So in this case, I will have to observe the UHS 2011. Who to be controlled? You are the other militia responsible for the, your own safety. Make sure yourself aware of the, your surrounding, identify the, any hazard or the, ask someone with the more experience. Think before doing anything, the events are appears because of the, uh, it can happen the dangers. Individuals are unsafe practice. In this case, are uh, using the tool incorrectly. You have to, you, if you use the tools uh, incorrectly, it will be unsafe. Taking the shortcut, you have to follow the proper procedure. By following the shortcut, it will also causing the damage and the unsafe. Walking carelessly and uh, being discreted and uh, fooling about. Poor design of the equipment or the work environments are the uncut machinery and the lack of the lights. Poor management of the organization. In this case, lack of the training and the use of the equipment, lack of the safety training and laws are enforcing the wearing the personal protective equipment. Those are the uh, danger to the workplace safety. So the what should do for the personal safety? Stay alert. Watch out for the things that are or the could be gun hazards. You need to find out the fact is uh, equipment. You have to know the methods or the treatment for the electric shock and report the all accidents and do not wear the loose clothing. We can catch the machinery. Do not wear the ring or the metal watch. So this is important because it can conduct the electricity. We are the robbers. Uh, robbers shoe, rubber, rubber shoe, and with the leather uppers, and also the steel toes are kept, must, your shoe must include a steel toes are kept. To prove, working with this heavy equipment, cover the, your hair with a cap, always wear the safety glasses or the sheet when using the any power tool. When you are using the any power tool, you need to wear the glass. Wash your safety rules are keep the floor area clear out the obstruction and clean up any spray out or the grease. Wash your step. Don't fool around the wash out. Watch for the falling objects around the overhead grade. Be aware of the people walking overhead. Use a letter safely. So those are important for the wash out safety. It means there's a safety a harness and glass are before using and the replace is damaged. Don't use any machine unless you finally understand in all aspects, especially uh, safety aspects. Use uh, your leg, not your back to leg. Do safety. Don't use the damage or the wound to repair or the replace them. Make sure that the five or the two handles are securely fixed and not split and the damage in any way. Don't rely on the two handle insulation for the protection from the electric shock. Always ensure that the work is a family squared before using brake, spanner, screwdriver, go chaser, hacksaw, etc. Don't to strike the hardened tools together, they may uh, shut down. Don't try to stop the rotating machine by hand. Don't leave the machine running unattended. Don't leave the chow key in the drilling machine. Don't run with the machine safety so uh, get it remote. Don't use the grinder with the chalk wheel with the excessive gap between the wheel and the water reset. Stand on the one side 
while in the starting the glider for the first time and other wheel has been replaced. Now electric hazard in the washer. Fall from the high and the safety surface. So electric hazards are the equipment can fall from the high or the safety surface can also be causing the injury. The mobile car play near the and they just and the jazz equipment, confined space, let all the sufficient light to work safely, as I said, uh, 30 or workers and uh, of the gas to the getting the equipment straight up and also using the gas flame via the H4 electric conductor, using the conductor or the premium cleaning solvent and temperature rise as a result of the combustion and a clean working condition, including KV trolley and as a explosive atmosphere. And use all the conductors to and the equipment also important aspect. Electric to equipment you have to personally utilize. And also personal effect, you really was need to be uh, aware of, should not wear, should not be worn. And generally uh, was uh, activity, wedding, cutting, bracing, you also be follow the proper procedure. And also static electricity from the machine and clothing is also important aspect. How much is uh, surface due to the grinding, welding, evacuation, excavation tool, also the modest uh, matter from the uh, arcs and the acetyl material, swivel, you are fully aware of. And don't use the glider with the chawi with the excessive gear. So those are the important aspects for the uh, general washer safety. I think we are talking about. So we are talking about the material used in the electro technology. So in the electric road technology system, we are using a different kind of material. So the metals are the pure metal elements. They include as a iron, copper, gold, silver. The compound we are also using the mild steel, stainless steel. So in this case, mild steel and stainless steel are the combination of iron carbon, depending on the percentage of iron carbon. So it can determine the properties of the steel. And also the brass is a copper and the zinc combination, bronze is a copper and zinc combination. So that depending on the iron carbon that uh, is can distinguish it from the other material, determine the usage and uh, very with the change to the main effects, effects, especially the temperature. So this is the properties of the steel. Depending on the uh, carbon percentage, it can uh, determine the color history of the steel. Then we are talking about the heat treatment. We have to do the heat treatment to get the required color state. So this is heat treatment method to harden the metal or to change the properties to make cutting tools such as the fine and the saw blade. So the, if, to do this, to make this a fine and saw blade, we have to do this a heat treatment. So the mechanical properties of the metal can be the any force or load applied to the piece of the solid material. They can cause the stress to be the present within the metal or the tend to try to change the shape. The stress of material is that the strength is said to be the ability to withstand the stress without the failure. So the compressive stress are really have to calculate. The resistance to squeezing or the scratching forces. So this is the compressive stress. The size stress is said to resistance to pulling or the stretching of forces. And then we also start cutting the metal with the uh, saw to so the shear stress. The so resistance to force trying to cut through the material. So the plastic deformation originally here when you put the force, the, it will be the permanent change. But the, it can go back to original, this is for the elastic information. So after pulling the movement, the material may remain in the shape 
force on it, so that may be a subpar the plastic deformation. Last is deformation is if it's returned to the original shape or the spring back, so it's not permanently changed. So it happened to the elastic side deformation. So especially the spring, when you press the spring, it will compress but go back to or normal. After you remove the post, it go back to normal. So this is the elastic deformation. Uh, Britain means the metal does tend to the pressure under the impact or the shock. No, set to be the breakdown. So the metal is as when you put the support on the index, the metal is a destroy. So this may be the breakdown metal. That means that the metal that is set to resist the pressure under the shock low is said to be tar. So especially the hammer head is a um, tar. And hardness means the hardness is the ability of the material to resist the identification and the wear. The softer the metal, the easier it is uh, to form cut the shape. So two must be the harder than the material being cut. So this is why the pie chain the hammer must be harder than it. The stability is uh, when you put the force on the uh, metal, so that will be the uh, crossing area is smaller and smaller, and then will be longer and longer. This is we got a dust tie, dust tie. So to produce the copper wire, the piece of copper is stretching, it causes a reduction in diameter, increase in stress and the source uh, and also the salt loads and tensile strength can happen. And malleability. Malleability is a material that can be beaten to the shape is said to be malleable. So that the load can be easily shaped with the hammer. The time metal used in the electric technology are the copper. Copper are we use for the electrical wiring, pipe and tanks. This ability to conduct the electricity and heat and also is possessed as a conditional system. Easy to force or the due to the shape and also the not easy to cast on machine. Copper alloys are the better to resist the corrosion, especially the compressed is a copper and zinc combination. And uh, rowing is as a mixture as a compound material of the, the copper and tin. Aluminums are the cheap and widely used in the industry. It's con contact the heat and the electricity well, also resist the corrosion, then scale water or the speed. So this is aluminium, so align aluminium. When you are aligning the aluminium, align the aluminium, we can say this is magnesium, titanium, and then beryllium. By combining aluminium, we can become the aluminium alloy. They become a strong and a lightweight and a cast, used for the casting. Ferrous metals are the steel, cast iron, and stainless steel. Steel is a product depending on the amount of carbon. Low carbon steel are about 0.25% of carbon, so they use for the uh, framework, cabinet, bone, nut, screw, nail. Medium carbon steel are 0.5 carbon percent, they are harder, they are tougher, they are the high tensile board, gear, and the machine parts we can utilize. High carbon steel, 0.8% carbon, so they are stronger, harder. We use for the spring, spanner, hand tool. Alloy and carbon 2 steel as a 1.5% carbon. They are the use for the very uh, five two ship car scrubber. High speed steels are they contain the uh, uh, tungsten, so it's that uh, we can use for the cutting two and three So depending on the percentage of steel, uh, percentage of carbon steel can be the property can be changing, and we can use for a different kind of the materials. And uh, stainless steels are the steel and the nickel chromium combination. This is the Origin the system, but they are has no magnetic property. Cast iron is a is iron and carbon compound, carbon two to five percent. So this is a easily method, poor to mold to the produce the casting, and they are cheap, the strong composition, the system to well. They suitable for the heat treatment, used for the machine base. The type of the plastic used in the electro technologies are the process of the building up from the same chemical process, they are from the petroleum, we can use the process to plastic, that they are also the good insulator. So chemical structure, depending on the chemical structure, is a petroleum chemical structure, launching of carbon and hydrogen atom, they are excellent term is, uh, term and insulator. So plastics are the thermo setting and thermo plastic. The property is that when the heat provided, it will be solvent, so that at, when cool, it will be solidified. So thermo plastic is a, Thermal setting plastic is a canopy, so 
remitted or solvent by the heat after they have been solidified. They are not going to get me the chain when heat is. So they are, they are kind of the big light. It's an electric, we use for the electric equipment, distributor and the gliding wheel, uh, polyurethane, we use for the stone. They are sweat, they are flexibility and good addition. We use for the cushion material, carpet, underlay, safety padding, and safety helmet. Epoxy resin, you know, we use for the chemical resistant. They are good adhesive, metal to uh, material adhesion, and the ceramics are plushing and the surface coating uh, properties. Thermoplastics are the uh, polymer chain can be uh, resolved by heating the remote part of heat. So polystyrene is a heat, uh, low heat resistant. They are good modulus, uh, molding quality, low solvent resistant, more food, drink container, and kitchenware, packaging, we use a polystyrene. Cellulose, they are the high impact stress and poor heat uh, conductor, resistant oil and detergent. We use for the screwdriver handles, uh, photographic suffering and recording tape. Polyethylene are the tar resistant solvent, low by char, absorption and flexible. Polyvinyl chloride, BBCs and non toxic high strength, and adverse are resistant and the ROS approved. We use for the cable coating, the cordage, and conjuice. Polymice on the nylons are the high tensile investment. They are low coefficient of friction, we are resistant, purchase, um, DR, and the washer. Uh, Fluorous carbon, RPDFE, so the non states are coating, C, uh, gasket, and the bedding. They are used all the dough material. Acrylics are the, uh, this is for the, they are clear, that they are. A transparent and good electrical resistant. They got a CV sheet and they also the wind skin and also the tie light, tail light lens are also included. Acrylatized are this by the uh, high tensile are in best way. They use for the crust helmet, helmet, CV helmet, we also utilize. So this now we are talking about the uh, use of the electro technology material. Then we are using this uh, planning process. We use a different kind of data pressing. In this case, uh, before that you start in the before that is an undertaking, you have to do the planning uh, process. So you have to do the reassessment. Reassessment is how can the person, how can have the person, any workshop process, you have to do the uh, reassessment. How can have the person usually likely, likely, unlikely, very unlikely. If you kill uh, or everything sit, long time illness and medicates are attention so extreme extremes are important to the low attention you can put on the scale one to six so scale one to six you have to put so the uh, this is for the how the how the person is damaged and here is a scale or the long time illness or the media attention so that this will be the uh, above the damage level is a color this rule is a how likely happen so this is thing you have to use Feel the sub beta. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You have to uh, feel the beta by doing the reassessment. So that this is why that we have to do the discover the hazard, describe the how important this table. Dealing with the hazard is the best thing is the remote and the lesson. Keep checking the new hazard. You need to collect the information. So in this drawing plan, personal protective equipment, location of suitable site, perform the task and disposal of waste material, and also understand the required technology, available to safety and the quality use of the required tools. Those are the important for the uh, uh, reassessment and to perform the task. Then we also talking about the fish and screw out the electro technology equipment. So in case we are talking about stuff partition hollow wall. So this is the door that's are now your home is the usually the great barrier hole. So this is when you are and this is for the hollow. From the hollows are we can run the electrical wire or the uh, plant are uh, pipes, wall construction can be the timber, metal stuff, or plaster bowl. So it can uh, require a different uh, fishing method. Facing the wall wall is you have to locate the stuff within the wall. Before the underneath, there will be the any stuff. So you have to locate the stuff. 
that can be the may or the pi or wire. So in this case, the line at the prism point uses a step fighter. So you have to find out a step fighter and did the map has all it hard. In this is indicate the solids are uh, a solid uh, elements behind it. So we are also always check the uh, and these are uh, pi or hidden in the area. So that we are using the facing associate. The associates are that we use a screw, we use a driven to the plasma bowl into the stack and to provide a very secure facing. The plasma bowl screw, also the bogus are uh, shaker head. So this is a to count our scene neatly in the plasma bowl without crashing. So this is all that is a, this is a correct thing, this is the wrong. And this is a poison millimeter thick timber, uh, thin three. Uh, we are also using a use for the wall ceiling and partition. Here we use the prison material both uh, this is the point eight millimeter uh, two point five millimeter thickness and they use for the ski shape here. So this is for the uh school and this is the coast board. Coast board is a uh, use as a uh, uh, heavy duty prison for the timber. So they are has go has they use a spanner to tighten the band. It is not a predicate to the uh, to a start special hollow prison will be required. All the solids are war plus will not be that we not we not do since they rely on the expansion within the war material. So to rely on the spread of the plaster bowl to carry the load so the heavy uh, item cannot be faced. So this is for the uh, when you are using the uh, plaster bowl they are limitation. You can fix the heavy item. Here also you see the coach board. So the, this is a typical plus for the heavy hollow wall facing. We need to check out the suitability for the particular situation. So it is a threaded plaster, bow anchor, target anchor, spring target anchor, hollow wall anchor, and nylon torque anchor. So the threaders are uh, hollow wall anchors are they are figure here. They are, can be the fillet, recent head, and table body. The attaching the uh, lightweight and we can use for the plasma bolt thin wall prevailing so that in this case uh, we screw into the plasma bolt attached to a patient. Target and uh, this is a sign uh, figure, figure out the target anchor. We can uh, look in the attaching the lightweight. We can use for the plasma bolt. Uh, we have to use, they are using the cell gradients, uh, moving target to provide the climbing force inside the cell tapping screw tie on the swim swing toggle to inside the plaster bowl to clamp for the clamping. This is a spin toggle anchor. This is a figure out the spin toggle anchor, two spin uh, look at arm, a uh, flip out where inside into the mounting head. So load can be the low, medium, and also plaster bowl we utilize. They rely on the gravity for the toggle, toggle to hand square to the, the thread. The method is the anchor is inserted through the mounting hole and press against the inner face of the bow when screw is uh, tightened. So this is for the spring anchor, target anchor uh, connection uh, method. The target loose is the squeeze undone. The three hole side must be the larger, larger enough to allow the target to pass. So this is for the facing of the target anchor, spring target anchor, the facing. So in this case, you have to check the no cable or the pipe hidden in the wall, penis area to be the drain. So this is a, before that you are, you are facing at this one, you need to drain. Therefore, you need to check any cable or any supply. Then after that, you can start fish a target angle like this. So this is a target angle facing. So this is a spring target angle, spring target angle. Here is a hollow wall anchor. Hollow wall anchor is a, you can use the collision less uh, you also utilize. So the collision less, that's a span when the anchor is pushed through to the hole. So we have partially, you have to break, you have to put the anchor, then less a uh, span, and then we can fix the other thing. So this is the uh, fitting method for the hollow wall anchor. They got the advantage, the screw can be removed without losing the, uh, without the, Loosen the anchor while it has been uh, seated and the anchor is bent. 
ที่อาจจะเรียกฟิกาเรียกลูกเอชไลท์ยูดีเอ่อวิจารย์ยูสโพลิสเกฟตี้ออฟโซลิวอลโซเดวิออสโซโฟลโลเดฮอลิวอล
and they can be removed or they replaced with the normal ties. It stands up to the high temperature better than the plastic. Here is a ribbons of barrelin, so this is a really tight fit that take the rain on the school side. We use a soft material and a lightweight block. They are special plus are required. Helical wing around the barrel. Helical wing grip the side of the hole and the wing cut the pala into block giving the very strong surface. They drain the whole diameter as a plus barrel and the overall diameter of the plug will be twice the diameter of the barrel. So this is the kind of the MIMS cable and the angle piece. So this is the a diagram, this diagram shows the, the fishing on the boat, electrical boat, we use the fishing the anger. So this is for the uh, configuration, this is for the bed and holder, corrugated conju, inspection, PVC, and also the one-way switch. The, this is for the uh, one-way PVC junction valve. PVC conju and metal cellar, so this the, the how to fish on the wall. How to put on the wall, how to put on the switch board. So that one is uh, based on the here. This is for the real connection diagram. This is the uh, installation diagram. So we based on the installation diagram this way and we can really install the desk, the board. So here will be the uh, length when you are installing the length, so do a length connection. So light sweep base and lamp holder, conju, and the dimension, the con connection. Then we also have to utilize the appropriate uh, uh, two bars that we utilize. So then we have to utilize two bars, electric and two bars must be utilized, switch base, bed and holder must be utilized. The red color is optional dependent on the material. So this is a kind of the material. This is a measurement uh, equipment. This is a measuring uh, and this is for the school. Those schools are utilized. The school, this is a wire plug. And those are the students are facing the building installation. So the dead electrical train ones are uh, we had I had explained you about the today's uh, workshop price is for. We explained about the the different kind of the installation method, also the uh facing material we are talking about. Then we continue to uh, do the electric advanced diploma level. So we continue to do the engineering phases. So electric diploma 2022. Then we look at the video. YouTube video, Bachelor of Applied Science, Electric Game. Now that I'm talking about the electric trade.
And we are talking about the electric gas uptake. So we are this is for the uh, metals are fishing. So there are the metal fishing are uh, associated. It can include the cedar, clay, conju, and also bread gas switch, those are the SO3. Also the technique for the fission to the metal. There are also the fission devices. It can be the coach bowl, paper, metal, and threaded bowl, and a wall anchor. So they are fission devices. Fission tools are, we utilize a spanner, screwdriver, rubber, file, and rimmer. So in this case, uh, we also need to follow the occupation hand. Uh, Safety is an issue. So when you are drilling, cutting, in this case, you need to use an uh, eye protection, all the metal filing and noise, they are also need to be aware of. We have to use as uh, a power drill, drill bit, and also we need to control a drill speed. We install the fishing device here, and associate supporting the up to 20 program. So this is a diagram of the cell there. Here is a conjuice here. Uh, uh, Attached by the saddle, and this is a koju saddle. Also, that we use a screw tool and screwdriver. We use a screw tool and screwdriver to support that koju. Here is the construction of the cable tree. A cable and a little bracket, and they are cables are running on a tree, they are supported by the bracket. So, to support this, are given on the wall. So this is the function of the cable tree. They are made of the sheet metal. So the wall bracket or the screw, we have to fit the wall, uh, screw to fit the wall. So this is the cable tree. On the cable tree, we use a screw to fit the cable tree on the wall. We tie the cables in the tree. After the cable are running on the tree, we need to tighten the cable on the tree. We have to cut the sheet metal. So in this case, this sheet metal need to be cut. So then we have to cut the sheet metal by using a guillotine machine. After that, we have to use a folding machine to use a fold the shape. After that, we drill a sheet metal, sheet metal tray. We have to drill a sheet metal tray for the prism. So that we have to uh, uh, install the prism. Also, that we mark the holes on the sheet metal and the same on the wall to be drilled. So this is for the uh, armor cables are running on the metal tray so that these uh, cable holders are attaching the holding the cable so they we have to set the appropriate cable tray and the mounting devices to support the cable weight those are important aspects so this is the construction of the cable tray and also the, this is the construction of the mounting devices so the column this is the column here we attach the mounting devices to the column after that we, we attach the cable tray so therefore the to fit the cable tray, firstly we have to uh, attach a mounting device and all the mounting devices we attach the cable tray. So we have to take it as a device to fit the metal. So once the load and the associate has been chosen, the method of the how to fasten the survey will depend on the weight. So depending on the weight of this uh, your cable tray, we have to select the appropriate method. So that in this case, uh, that we utilize the lightweight devices. So that when you are using a lightweight device, you want to, if you want to spoil the thin metal surface or the up to two millimeters, uh, set that is can be utilized. 
Also, before you are using, you have to make a buy long hole, and then we have to penetrate the school. All right, we have to cut the, cut the own thread into the metal. So, they are set traffic to our way, cut this own thread into the metal. And if you want to uh, attach the largest devices, so once the, the weight starts to the increase, there's a uh, materials and patterning start to uh, larger. larger. In this case, uh, we have to utilize the coach board. Coach board need to be utilized to hold the larger uh, close to the surface. So we have to use as a uh, hand tool. So this is the diagram of the coach board. Hand tools are where you got a screwdriver, open end spanner, raised spanner, adjustable spanner, and four rubber cans are have to utilize. And the for the safety, where to wear the organ, ear plug, and gloves have to be utilized to protect the uh, rider noise. Here is a power tool. So in this case, uh, they are Henry. Henry, collar drills, we have to utilize. We have to use uh, up to 12 millimeter uh, child need to be utilized. And also that uh, we are using the uh, adjustable speed. Here is a postcard uh, drill. In this case, uh, we have to drill the more the uh, accurate hole. In this case, we have to use the pedestrian uh, drill. So the material is a clever to the drill for the smoke. So that in this case, we use the uh, waste of material have to be uh, remote. In this case, the all the waste material swap need to be uh, properly removed for the safety. So in this case, I'm going to safely remove the waste material. So this is for the, uh, this diagram is a uh, typical case uh, diagram of the installing the your uh, electric case. Here is a plus and light. To install a plus and light, we have to utilize a digital diagram. So this diagram, so we can see the that uh, installation of the cross and light in the room. So that this is what the, your touch you have to provide with the two meter and one meter metal sheet. So you need to cut the sheet from the cable tray and then fix onto the wall. So this is what is uh, how to fix the um, electric circuit diagram and also switch on the wall. So the wall is made of the brick. So in this case, we have to install the cable tray to carry the cable on the wall. So that in this case, we have to use the adjustable hand tighten, adjust, hang anchor has to be utilized, and also lighting fixture need to be installed. So this is all the how to utilize as for is that you need to cut the sheet metal. So this is the sheet metal side, uh, two meter, one meter. You need to cut the sheet metal to the uh, side, this shape, and to form a cable tray and a fist on the wall. So what you have to do is that you have to start drawing, provide a drawing how to form the appropriate cable tray system. We have to walk the process, how to cut the sheet metal and how to dry. And also we have to estimate the uh, sheet metal materials and the number, and then we have to wear the process, walk the process, how to fix on the wall. So you only have to, uh, you have to do it. This is all the typical of the process. The next one is that we are talking about the adhesive and the tape. In this case, uh, the, before we are using the adhesive and tape, we have to uh, assess a low limit. Low limit need to be assessed. So the way accessories that can be fixed with the adhesive and the tape. In this case, we also have to be aware of the hazard and safety. Hazard and safety to use a chemical fixing device because the adhesives are the uh, chemical uh, device. We have to uh, follow the chemical safety system. So in this case, a tune or cutting eye, and also the eye protection need to be well, and the physical contact, also hand protection need to be so aware of. So we also have to follow the appropriate technique for placing the adhesive and tape. These are the common use in the home. They are not suitable to fix the heavy item to the surface. Due to the stress, item will be straighted from the surface. So suitable place are, we have to utilize the label and the day plate to the swivel fixing. Or that we can utilize PVC that with a double sided tape or the rear side. So they are suitable as a place to use a tape. So this is for the kind of the adhesive. So that the side of the dust should be small side and only have uh, one or two uh, cable. So in this case, we can utilize the adhesive tape inside as the weight on the cable over time can force a tape to give way and the dust to pass on the carpet. So this is for the type of the adhesive tape. So these are the best side tape. They use for the diving surface. So we you can throw out tie, we cause the tape to let go from the surface. And hook and then loose tie. They use to screw out the position. 
where they need to be uh, relocated often and uh, quickly. And this is what test load and communication panel we can utilize at those days. In this case, uh, we also utilize the glue and the solvent. In this case, PVC conjure cement, uh, the kind of the glue and solvent, the fine sheet, the two dry the conjure together and uh, prevent them from the spray day. So this is a uh, prevent the ingress of the unwanted item. So water and dust that can be damaged given. So therefore, the when you are joining the conjure, where you use a conjure tape by using the conjure tape, it can uh, prevent the water and the dust to come into the conjure. Also, that we also that can maintain the integrity of the electric system, insulation and the protection from the mechanical damage. So three in which uh, can be placed using the adhesive and taste are the double sided tape. They you see only on the item which are the lightweight, especially the label, small PVC conjure, and the set adhesive cable, and the PVC conjures are we you have to use with the PVC uh, cement. At the time when the PVC conjure are installed, it is requirement that the all drive are the screws as not to spray and the H4 cable so the PVC cement used on the drive to fit them up together. So this is for the uh, prison. The PVC cement is a solvent can be get when the coating is uh, made with the anchor and that the air is a uh, little bit remote and the bone made that is uh, can be get mixed between two the surface. So the technique uh, surface must be clean. Before you are using the anti uh, that's it, we have to uh, clean the surface. No paint, no dust, no dust and uh, no loose material, no iron and no residue. We have to use the latest uh, stronger uh, stronger solvent uh, cement have to be utilized. So this is the, the they, are, they are the place of BBC cement to put after they will put the PVC uh, on you. Solvent cement must be applied to the one surface and uh, completely around the circumference of the conju. Two plates of the conjures are uh, pushed together and uh, held in the polar chain and then the conju dry cement to be set in the uh, two seconds. So this is the way how to utilize the PVC conju. So in this case, uh, we also have to wear all the chemical hazard. So that we have to wear the uh, personal protective equipment must be utilized and the chemicals uh, can end up to the body. Chemicals can end up to the body by inhalation. So that in this case, air, fumes, and leave the chemical mixed with the air and can end up to the body through the lung and the direct to the blood stream. And also the injection chemical when you are using chemical by hand and uh, you either put your hand, so the chemical can go into the, your, your mouth. Absorption and skin cap is the absorption through the skin is due to the contact if the skin is a broken due to cut or it gets a chemical it directly will pass to the blood supply. So people handling the any chemical, in this case, we have to refer the MSC. MSC is a material safety data she must be utilized. So on the material safety data she is uh, explained about the chemical and uh, the appropriate handling method, appropriate uh, fast is a method uh, also written on the can be get safety data sheet. So that the material safety data sheet must be the uh, repair and then uh, use a uh, appropriate glass and the uh, noise protection, April and the eye protection must be wall. So in this case, uh, we have to see that our tutorial is uh, we have to draw the scar wall to top plate and noggin and a scar brace, bottom plate and a plus scar box. So this is for the, and so this is for the um, question one. Uh, this is for the here is uh, the star wall, this is plus star bolt, square bottom plate, and the flat helmet. And the question two is uh, what is the stingiest of plus star bolt and guard? Plus star bolt and guard here, there's a hollow wall and guard stingiest of plus star bolt and guard. Question three is uh, what type of thread that fast end should be used for the plus star bolt? In this case, uh, we're going to utilize said that very screw must be utilized. And also the what two devices can be used to mount the switch plate to the plaster roll? So the answer is it. This is the plaster clip bracket and the screw must be utilized. So this is for the electrical trade to it. We are talking about the uh, how to fix the materials or the adhesive and tape. So this is for the electrical trade. And then you also have to start talking about the advanced diploma. Advanced diploma is last week uh, we explained about the 
Uh, press it. Now we are looking at the advanced remote. 